make your place, I am here. Niko hapa Nasimama mbele zako Nina kiu na weleo Mimi niko hapa Wajili ya koewe roho Niko hapa Kwa ajili yako Niko hapa Niko hapa Natamani ushirika nawe Niko hapa Niko hapa roho wa Bwana Niko hapa niko hapa niko hapa Hey niko hapa Ni wewe na hitaji Chukua nafasi ya kondani yangu Yeroho Niko hapa, niko hapa Ya nika shika pahane Niko hapa, niko hapa, niko hapa Once more, once more, one be a roho. Roho takatifu. Niko hapa, niko hapa leo. Niko hapa, niko hapa. Beleza kona si mama. Oh. Niko hapa, niko hapa Niko hapa kwa jili ya koroho Spirit of God, I'm here for you Come and take your place, I'm here for you Spirit of God, Spirit of God I came to commend with you I desire to have fellowship with you I'm here to worship you, to honor you. Come and take your place in the name of Jesus. Come and receive my offering. Come and receive my sacrifice. Oh, Niko Hapa, Niko Hapa, Niko Hapa. Nena nae, nena nae, muambia niko hapa, niko hapa, niko hapa, niko hapa kwa ajili yako 
You are my heart desire. You are the one that love. You are the one that I love. You are the one that I hunger for. You are the one that I thirst for. I desire to worship in your presence. To worship in your presence. I desire to commune with you. You are the reason why I live. You are the reason why I live. Where were the Sababur Mimikuishi? Oh, yeah, Papa Kataka. Ye paha shekata Ye kayande baha Repakataya Shekapa Rehaneba Rekayande ba Ye kapa Oh You're the one that we design the lies in our hearts of God How sweet it feels to be in your presence Feels to be in your presence. Oh, ye pahande bahashi ka pahande, ye turande ha, ya ha 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 sha ha, ye ha ha, ye ha ha ha.
why we have come into your house in this morning Lord to worship you because you are a faithful God you have proven yourself to be faithful umejionyesha bwana kuwa mwaminifu katika maisha yetu tumekuja asubuhi ya leo kukuabudu bwana kukuinua kuliadhimisha jina lako tukitangaza ya kwamba hakuna mwingine Aliye kama wewe pokea sifa zetu bwana pokea heshima zote katika jina la Yesu Kristo you are a faithful god you always keep your promises there is no promise oh god that you have ever failed to keep your word you always come to fulfill that which you have spoken we are grateful our father let us continue to thank God because he is a faithful God. 
He is a faithful father. He does not lie. He has never lied to anybody. Every person that he promised, he came to fulfill the promises. For he is a good God. We have so many testimonies in the Bible and even testimonies of the people that we know, even our own lives, that our God is faithful, that our God is faithful. He is a rewarder of them that seek him diligently. He is a rewarder. Ramashanda rabozi karabasanda. Repariasha tarabazira korabazina. Repariaza koshara mazara kopa. Repariaza koshere bezire korabazina. Oh, tumuabudu buwana subuhi ya leo. Tumuambie buwana ni asante. Kwa sababu yeye ni muaminifu. He will not fail. We know that there are promises that he has given to us. But I want to promise you that he will not fail. Let us thank him by faith. Tumshukuru kwa imani in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know we are completely persuaded that he who has promised, he is faithful. He will come and fulfill that which he has promised us. Ramashanda rabozi karabasanda. Maraboriaza koshere bezire kora bazina. Maraboriaza koshara bazire kora bazina. Tumshukuru bwana subuhi ya leo. Kwa sababu tuko katika majira ya restoration. And our God is faithful. He is restoring us to our lost territories. He is restoring everything that we lost. Oh, tumwambie ni asante. Kwa sababu yeye ni muaminifu. Hame tuzungumzia. Ame tunenea kwa neno lake in this week Oh na ame tuahidi ya kwamba He will restore us He will bring a total restoration Ramasaka rabo sharabazina Miramarasaka rabo zarabo sharazina Situmshukuru kwa imani Kwa sababu kuna neema ambayo ameachilia Neema ya urejesho Neema ya urejesho Oh the grace of restoration is at work in our lives he has released that grace in this season in his church ramazako robozire koshara bazina mira maria zako shara mazire kora bazire kopa remana mazika tara mazire koshere bezia mara poria zako shere bezire kora mazina rambaria zako shara mazire kotara bazana mara poria zako shara mazaka Mshukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya maeneo yote ambayo umekuwa ukimwamini ya urejesho ukimshukuru kwa imani he is going to come and bring total restoration in the mighty name of Jesus hata kama kuna mambo ambayo haujaona na macho ningependa tukaweze kumshukuru Bwana tukiwa na imani ndani ya roho wake tukiamini ya kwamba Huyu Mungu ambaye ametuahidi he is going to fulfill his word Shanda rabaria shatara basanda Mira Maria za koshara mazire koshara bazina tujiachilie tu kwa Bwana kila mahali hata faith chapel wale wanaotufuatilia kwa mitandao hata heaven's gate prayer mountain oh hata victor's chapel rapaz ya rakora masanda keeps campers Tujiachilie kwa Bwana church without walls oh who ni wakati wa kumtafuta Bwana the bible says that seek the lord when he is found seek him when he is available maraboshi atara masanda periara saka tara bazina tumtafute Bwana wakati anapopatikana repasia rakoshara masanda Periara soko robo zire kopa Asubuhi ya leo buwana ata anapatikana Buwana anapatikana Tufungue tu mioyo yetu Tukajiachilie kwake Ramazi karabasanda Periara saka tarabasanda O Biblia inasema mtafuteni mungu na nguvu zake Tafuteni uso wake kila wakati Asubuhi ya leo tufungue mioyo yetu 
na tumtafute bwana kwa sababu anapatikana anapatikana shana rabaria za kosharaba sanda atapatikana kwa kila mmoja ambaye atajiachilia ambaye hatakuwa na mazoea ambaye atamwambia bwana i am before you today i am in your presence i desire oh god to have an encounter with you ramasi karamasanda periara saka shatara bazina makorobo shatara mazire koshere bezina shana ramaria za koshere mezire kopa tutiachilie kwake asubuhi ya leo yeye ni mwaminifu oh he has promised us that when we seek him we will find him if we seek him with all our hearts if we seek him with everything that we have we will find him because he is a faithful god wewe usinyamaze hata kama kuna hali zimekusonga hata kama umesongwa na maisha si umekuja katika nyumba ya bwana oh mimi na moyo wako mwaga moyo wako katika uwepo wake mwambie bwana nimekuja kukutafuta i have come to seek you oh god shanda ramara bozi karabasanda shanda ramaria za koshere bezire koramazina maybe you have been disappointed oh maybe you trusted some people and they failed you this morning you can open your heart to god and tell him oh god i have come to you because you are a faithful god you have never failed me you have promised to go with me that you will never leave me that you will never forsake me shanda rabara ba ramana mazekere bezire kosha shanda ramaria za koshere bezina sijui ni changamoto gani hiyo ambayo imekusukuma umefika katika kona lakini mpendwa nikwambie ya kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye huwa anasikia maombi ambaye huwa anasaidia watu wake wakati wanapomlilia hata kama ni ugonjwa oh sharabara basanda kuna nguvu nyingi katika hii nyumba nguvu za uponyaji utarejeshe wa afya yako wewe uliyepoteza watoto utarejeshe wa watoto wako wewe uliyepoteza jamii ukapoteza mume wako kuna ne, kuna neema ya urejesho kuna neema ya urejesho remara bashanda ramazaka shanda raboria za koshara masanda wengine wamepoteza watoto kwa madawa za kulevia kwa pombe kwa usherati lakini mapendo asubuhi ya leo kuna neema ambayo itaturejeshea kila kitu tulichopoteza shanda ramarebo zikara masanda wengine wamepoteza fedha wengine walipoteza biashara asubuhi ya leo tumekuja katika uwepo wa bwana there is restoration in the presence of god the holy spirit is here he is going to help us to recover everything that we have lost remasi karabasina reparia shatarabasana me karabozire koshere bazina reparia shatarabazire kosha there is restoration in the presence of god e ramasi atarabazire kosha oh the times of refreshment the times of restoration are coming to us have come to us oh from the presence of the lord in this season shanda rabaria shatara bazina me karabo shanda ramazire kosha fungua moyo wako tu oh jiachilie tu kwa bwana hiyo mizigo ambayo umebeba ni wakati wa kupumzishwa uiweke chini katika uwepo wa bwana hiyo discouragement uiweke chini kwa sababu anasema ya kwamba come unto me all you who are heavy laden and all of you who labor and i will give you rest shanda rabaria za kosharaba mira maria za kosharaba zina reparia za kosharama sanda tuweke mizigo yote chini na bwana ko tiari kutupumzisha akotiari kututua mizigo yetu 
He is going to give us rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Shandara Maria Zako Shara Masanda. Open your heart to him. He is touched with the feeling of our sufferings. Repazi Karamashanda Rabazina. Yanda Rabazi Karamasanda. Anaelewa Vizuri. Anaelewa Vizuri. Shida Tunazo Zipitia. Anajua Vizuri. Mambo Ambayo Yametusukuma. Changamoto Ambazo. Tunazipitia Katika Kizazi Chetu. Ata Tusaidia. Mradi Tutu Mtafute. Na Mioyo Yetu Yote. Mradi Tutu Fungue Mioyo Yetu. Shandara Mareba Zakara Bazina. Reparia Shatara Bazire Kora Bazina. Marabo Shetere Mezire Kopa. Shandara Maria Zakora Mazire Kopa. Mashara Maria Zakoshara Mazire Kopa. Tuliambiwa na mtumishi wa Bwana ya kwamba maombi ya restoration ni maombi ambayo yanapaswa kuombwa na uzito. Tunapaswa kujiachilia mbele ya uwepo wa Bwana. Na tumwambie Bwana, restore unto us that which we have lost. Oh God, restore unto us the territories that we have lost. Restore unto us the wealth the spiritual wealth, the financial wealth that we have lost, oh God. Manda rabashia taramasanda. Buwana aone hiyo shauku. Natamani yondani ya mioyo yetu. Ya kwamba tukotiari. Ya kwamba tunamanisha. Ya kwamba tunatamani kureje shewa. Kwa sababu yeye anamanisha. Yeye anamanisha lakini anauliza je. Kanisa langu. Kuna yule ambaye anamaanisha na nitaweza kulitimiza neno langu nitaweza kuleta urejesho remana mazika ramasanda rabazina shanda raboria za koshara masanda peria ramazeka rabozire koshara bazina shanda raboria za koshara masanda o oh, yule ambaye anamaanisha atarejeshewa addiction zitavunjika Magonjo ya tapona. O oh, vifungo vya umasikini zitavunjika. Na buwana atalete urejesho. Urejesho. Shanda rabari ya zakora bazina. Shanda rabari ya zekere bezina. Shanda ramara bazaka. Oh God we thank you. Oh God we worship you. Oh God we bless your holy name. Oh shararaba shararaba raba. Remana mazi karabo shara mazire ko shara ba. Remana mazi karabo shara mazire kora mazina. Kubali roho abo ana weze. To quicken your heart, to quicken your spirit, that you may call upon the name of the Lord. Shanda raba reba. Remana mazi kere mazire ko shara ba. He is quickening us. He is quickening us in this morning. Shanda rabari aza koshara bazana, shanda rabori aza koshara bazina, shara mara mazeke tere mezina. Oh, we thank you, our Father. We bless your holy name. There is none like you. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah, tumpigie bwana makofi. Makofi ya juu katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah! Shout unto the Lord, hallelujah! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shararararararara Marabasa karabazire koshereba we thank God because of his presence he is here together with us yeye amemaanisha na anatamani kuturejeshea all the territories that we have lost lakini pia nasi lazima tukue willing lazima tukue na hiyo desire ndani yetu tutamani kurejeshewa kwa sababu Mungu anaweza kuwa ako willing lakini akiangalia na akitazama mioyo yetu anaona kuna watu ambao bado wamekuja katika uwepo wake casually 
wamekuja tu kwa sababu ni Jumapili. Bwana anatupenda sana asubuhi ya leo na anatamani kuturejeshea maeneo yote tuliyoyapoteza. Ningependa kuwakaribisha wote. William Fisio Facebook na YouTube may God bless you kwa redio kwa runinga Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain and the Church Without Walls. Ninaitwa David ninaenda kuwaongoza uh, actually nitasoma tu scripture kwa sababu ya wakati alafu tutaomba ningependa nikaweze kuwekewa Isaiah uh, the book of Isaiah 44 and verse 3 tukaweze kusoma hilo andiko Biblia inasema ya kwamba for I will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on dry ground I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring tunaweza pia kuwekewa uh, Psalms 42 I will read from verse 1 to verse 3 we know this scripture Psalms 42 from verse 1 to verse 3 the bible says as the deer pants for the water uh, for the, as the deer pants for the water brooks so my so pant my soul for you O god my soul thirst for god for the living god when shall my tears have been my food day and night while they continually say to me where is your god our last uh, scripture we will read from the book of psalms 73 verse 25 Psalm 73 verse 25 This is what the Bible says Whom have I in heaven but you and there is none upon the earth that I desire besides you Asubuhi ya leo tunaenda kuomba ya kwamba tukaweze kurejeshewa a hunger and a thirst for God and for his presence kwa sababu tuko katika majira haya ya restoration ningependa tukaweze kuomba hili ombi kwa sababu katika majira haya na nyakati zetu niwaambie ya kwamba a uh, kiu cha bwana the hunger for god and the thirst for the presence of god has been stolen from the heart of many na wakati ambapo kiu ya bwana inaondolewa katika meo yetu basi tunakuwa hatuwezi kumtafuta bwana na meo yetu yote kwa sababu Mungu huwa tu anapatikana wakati anatafutwa na moyo wote. Aliwaambia wana wa Israeli through prophet Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah that you will find me and seek me. You will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Na kwa hivyo kama mtu hana that the desire for the presence of God. Hana shauku hashauki uwepo wa Bwana kuna vile hawezi kujitoa kujisumbua akimtafuta Bwana lakini asubuhi ya leo tunaenda kumwambia Bwana oh god may you restore your hunger your thirst into our heart in the mighty name of Jesus na niseme ya kwamba katika nyakati tunazoishi ndani yake uh, baada ya kiu ya Bwana na shauku ya Bwana kuondolewa kutoka katika mioyo ya wengi niwaambie ya kwamba kuna mambo mengine ambayo yameingia into our hearts nowadays utapata watu yes we have a desire but we desire other things we desire many things we desire money and money is good we desire wealth more than god there are people who desire to minister more than they desire god na Bwana akiona jambo hili likifanyika basi anakuwa na huzuni because when we have desire for other things and we do not have the desire for God basi Mungu hawezi kuachilia uwepo wake hata revival inaweza kawia lakini asubuhi ya leo ningependa tukaweze kwenda tu kwa mbele ya uwepo wa Bwana na tumwambie Bwana we desire you to restore hunger and thirst for your presence in our lives tukaweze kusimama kuna mchungaji mmoja tunaposimama ambaye i heard about him let us be on our feet na 
huyu mchungaji he noticed ya kwamba uwepo wa Bwana ulikuwa umeondoka katika kanisa lake. Hakukuwa na healing, watu hawakuwa wanaokoka, watu hawakuwa wanabadilika. Na akafika mahali and he had a strong desire for the presence of God. Na akasimama mbele ya kanisa and he told his people, I am going to give you two weeks and if nothing will happen in this church, I will resign as your pastor na akaondoka akaenda kumtafuta bwana na wakati alipokuwa anamtafuta bwana akiwa amepiga magoti akimuomba bwana akaweze kurejesha uwepo wake katika kanisa lake uh, roho wa bwana akakuja akamwambia i cannot come into your church and the servant of god asked why and the holy spirit told him because you are the pastor in that in that church you are the leader you are the star If you can only allow me to be the pastor of your church then I am willing to come back. Asubuhi ya leo wapendwa. Ningependa tukaweze kujiachilia kwa sababu ya wakati na tumwambie Bwana, oh God, restore the desire, restore a hunger and a thirst for your presence in my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ramashanda rabozika rabazina. Repariaza kushara bazire kora bazina wakati huo mchungaji aliporudi katika kanisa lake miujiza ilianza kufanyika uwepo wa Bwana ukarejea katika hilo kanisa watu wakaanza kupona kukawa na uvuvio mkubwa o oh, wapendwa na lazima tufike mahali ambapo tutamshaukia Bwana na kushaukia nguvu zake remazi karabasanda pera robo zire kosharazina me karabasa katarabazina reporozi karabashete rebezina haya ni majira ya urejesho na Bwana anatamani katikati ya mambo mengi ambayo anataka kuturejeshea aturejeshe njaa aturejeshe kiu aturejeshe shauku ya uwepo wake shanda rabozi korobozina me karamaze karabasanda god desire to restore a hunger and a thirst for his presence in the hearts of his people repazi karamazina reparamaze keterebezina peramaziko sherebezira mara parasa katarabazina mara poroze kasharabazina the presence of god is attracted by our desire for him is attracted by our thirst for him raparyaza kosharabazana there is a level of hunger and thirst that god is looking for in our hearts ho robozira kosharabazina so that he can send his spirit so that he can release his spirit upon us raporozire kosharabazina maraboriaza kosharabazanda reparaza katarabozire kopa oh god we desire oh the hunger and the thirst for your presence to be restored in our heart to be restored in our heart we are living, we are living in a generation where men desire many things apart from you oh god but we desire in this morning that the desire oh god for your presence to be restored to be restored in our hearts oh god shanda ramarabozi karamasanda Remana maze karabo sharamazina we want to desire you more than everything we want to desire your presence more than everything and more than anything sharabare bozire ko sharabazanda repariaza ko sharabazanda bwana tunatamani kushaukia upe uwepo wako kuliko vile huwa tunashaukia mambo mengine katika maisha yetu kuliko vile huwa tunashaukia oh kuwa na pesa na kutajirika kuwa na majina makubwa bwana tunatamani ukaweke ndani yetu kiuna shauku tukakushaukia bwana repariaza ko sharabazina reparasanda raboreza kore bazina repariya shatara maze karabazia yando roborozire ko sherebezia remana mazakara mazere koroboza maraboriaza ko sherebezia reparasa katara mazere kopa o bwana kirejesha 
kiu yake na shauku o oh, ndani ya mioyo yetu ataweza kuachilia roho wake katika kanisa lake o oh, katika nyakati zetu ataachilia uvuvio re maraba sakaraba there is a mesha there is a level of hunger that he is looking for he is waiting for us to hunger for him to thirst for him more than everything and he will come and he will visit us sharabaraba ramarabaraba sakaraba sharararabara mazekereba roho wa bwana tunakuomba we pray that in this morning Holy Spirit you will put in us a desire a strong desire for your presence for your holy spirit in the mighty name of Jesus shararara masakaraba remana masekere boshere mazina repariya za koshere bezire korobozina mara mare basakara mashetereba repariya za koshere mezire korobozina Ramana mazekere mazire kopa he is waiting for us to desire him and dio ninajua ya kwamba uko na njaa na shauku lakini kiwango ambacho bwana anatarajia hatujaweza kufika pale repariaza kosha rabazina ndio tunaweza kuwa na njaa lakini kuna kiwango ambacho bwana anangojea there is a level of hunger there is a level of thirst that will cause god to come and to visit us shandara bare bozekereba remana mazekereba saraba shandara boriaza koshere bezina oh god help us to desire you help us to desire your presence because your presence is precious oh more precious than silver more costly than gold Oh God cause us to desire your holy spirit cause us to desire your presence oh God in our families in our businesses in the church rapara saraba remana mazekereba sharara bare mozekereba oh rama sekerema shandaraba oh who do i have in heaven but you oh God Who do I have in earth but you and there is nothing that I desire more than you sharabara bare zekereba sharamare baze kerebo zire kopa shandara bore za karaba oh tutamani kumshauki ya bwana oh tutamani kuwa na shauku ya bwana to desire for god more than the, our desire for ministry more than our desire to prosper oh god we desire oh ramashanda rabazina remashia taramazire kosha remana mazika rabazire kosha maraboria za kosha ramazanda the hunger for god has been stolen the hunger for god the thirst for the presence of god has been replaced with us for many other things oh we are supposed to see god first and everything else he will give unto us we are supposed to seek his kingdom first with its righteousness and he is going to give us money and he is going to give us wealth and he is going to give us the gift of the holy spirit he is going to expand our ministries we are supposed to hunger for him first not for things not for things not for titles not for positions oh sharabara boria sharaba remana mazekere ba sharaba zina sharamaria shatere bezina yandara boria sharama zire koraba zina mara boria shatere mezire koraba zaka restore your hunger Restore your hunger oh God in the hearts of your people restore your hunger in our hearts we pray because your hunger has been stolen you are thus oh God has been stolen by thus for many other things oh sharabaria sharabasanda we desire to be known we desire for positions 
We desire many things, oh God, but today we pray that you will restore unto us a hunger, a desire, oh, for your presence. Shandarabaria shatarabazina, remana maseke remazara kopa. God is waiting for many people. God is waiting for us to hunger for him, to thirst after him. And he is going to release the latter rain. The Bible says that I will release latter rain on the on the ground. Shara Maria Zako Shara Basanda Atachili Amvua Katika Meo Ambayo Ikona Q Shanda Raboria Zako Shara Basanda At a revival Ambayo to Mekua to Kitafuta Ita Chili Watu Wakati Ambapo Kyuche to Kita Inuka Shanda Rabaria Zako Shere Bezina the level of our hunger, the level of our thirst for God. Oh, must rise, must rise, must rise, must rise. Shanda rabaria shata rabazina. Me karama shato robo zire kosha. Remana maze karama shere mazana. Me ramaria za kosha ramazana. Re paria za koshere mezire kopa. Maraboria za koshere mezire kopa. Yende remeria za kosha ramazana. Kizazi chetu biblia inasema Ya kwamba ni kizazi ambacho Kinajipenda na kinapenda pesa Lazima tumuombe buwana na tumuambie Oh God may you replace the love for money With the love for your presence May you replace the desire for money With the desire for your presence We know that you will bless us with money We know that you will give us properties But Lord God Almighty we desire to hunger for you first. We desire, oh God, that we may desire you first. Shandara mareba, shandara ba. Rema na maze kereba zire ko shereba. Rema na maze karabo shereba. Rama na maze kereba zire ko sha. Rapa riaza ko shereba riaza. Periara zere bahande rezina. Tunapo malizia, tunaendelea kumuambia buwana. Oh God, oh God, release a hunger. A hunger and a thirst in my, in my heart. Rama Sarabahanda, that I may hunger for you. That I may desire you more than everything else in this world. More than anything else. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me a hunger that cannot be satisfied by anything else apart from your presence. Give me a thirst that cannot be satisfied by anything else apart from your presence. Oh God, Shandara Mare Basanda, Repariaza Korabazia, Shandara Boriaza Koshara Basanda, Holy Spirit work in my heart, plant this a desire in my heart for God, plant a desire in my heart for God. You are the one who work in me, both to do and to will. Oh, Holy Spirit, plant a desire in my heart. Shanda rama rama sanda rama. Repariya shata rama zire kosha. Repariya zako rama zire kosha rama. We cannot hunger for God by our own strength, by our own ability. We need the Holy Spirit to help us. He is the one who will plant that hunger in our hearts. He is the one who will put that dust in our spirits. Shanda rabaria shatara bazia. Reparia shatara mazire kosha. Repara saraba hande rebezia. Shere reberia za kora mahanda. Reperia za kashete rebezia. for you Lord we hunger for your presence we hunger for your presence Lord we hunger for your presence Lord we can do nothing without 
We hunger for more of you. We hunger for more of you, Lord. We desire you, Lord. We desire you more than ever before, our God. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. And I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus, you are all that matter. You are all that matter. I make room for two. You and I, my Jesus, you are all that matter. You are all that matter. Oh, hey, oh. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh. You are all. I put you in front. In front of my melody. Of my melody. You are all that matters in my life. You are all that matters. I make room for two. I make room for two. You and I, my Jesus. You are all that matters. Jesus. I put you in front. You are all the 
you in front of in front of my man you are all the matter you are all I make room for two I make you and I Ni 
Hili wewe Uongeze Uongeze kia buwana Mimi ni kukwe Wepo wako uonekane zaidi bwana 
Wepo wako wone kane zaidi bwana Wepo wako bwana Wepo wako bwana Gugu za kobwana Uweza wako bwana Yera mayena Shela mayena na Remayana ma shela ma More of you in my life oh God More of you in my life More of you in my life oh God More of your presence More of your power More of your spirit I surrender I surrender I surrender More of you in our lives, O God. More of your presence in our lives. More of your presence in our lives. For we can do nothing without. I have no other God but you. 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 I have no other God. You. you have done what no man has done, and you will do what no man can do. You have done what no man has done. And you will do what no man can do. I have no other God. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. My Father, I have no other God. I have no other God but you. I have no other God. I have no other God but you. I have no other God but you. You are the source of my life, Lord. I, I have, have no other God but you. Say, you have done for me. You have done what, what no man has done. And you will do, Lord. You will do what no man
Father, you have done for me. You have done. And you will do, Lord. Father, you have done for me. What no man, what no man. Give you praise, our God. We have no other God but you. We have no other God but you. You are a mighty God. You are a powerful God. You are a mighty God. You are the most powerful God. Most excellent God. We give you glory. We give you glory, we give you praise, we magnify your name, we magnify your name, we give you all the praise in the house of God. Somebody celebrate Jesus, he's a mighty God, he's a miracle working God, he's full of power. Hallelujah, somebody. Yera ma shalama ye. Yera ma ye na ma shalama. Give him the glory that he deserves. Give him the praise that he deserves. He is enthroned on high. High above all gods. High above all powers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus in the house of God. We praise you. We lift you up. We praise you. We praise you. We lift you up. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We lift you up. Jesus. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We lift you up. We praise you. Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. Father. Lord, we lift your name. We exalt your holy, holy name. You have been so good, 
so good to me you have made our way where there was no way my god you have been so good so good to me we praise you lord praise you lord Joyful noise unto the Lord of the land.
your grace we celebrate your love we worship you receive our worship receive our worship yes Lord from the altar of my heart receive my worship in the name of Jesus Somebody celebrate the Lord with a clap offering of praise. 
for him alone is worthy. We bless his holy name. Jesus. Amen. We thank God for His grace this morning. We have been having a wonderful time in the presence of God during our April Prayer and Word Festival. And we thank God for all those who are able to participate either by coming for in-person worship and even those who are following online. We have dedicated every first week of the month. There's a time of prayer, fasting, and uh, being built by the word of grace that is able to give us an inheritance among the saints. Praise the name of the living God. On Friday, we had Akesha, the Dominion Night, and I introduced to you a father of faith all the way from South Africa, together with the team. And today they are together with us to minister to us this morning. And so I want to welcome all of you, those who are here, those who are in Victor's Chapel. Let us celebrate those who are in Victor's Chapel. God bless you. Amen. Let us celebrate those who are those yeah, Victor's Chapel. God bless you so much. Let us celebrate those who are in Faith Chapel. God bless you. We love you. May you receive a double portion. We celebrate those who are in Keeps. Praise the name of the living God. Keeps Campus. We may not be able to see them on the screen. And we also celebrate our brothers and sisters, those who are in Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain. And we celebrate the many who are watching online from different nations of the world. We love you. May God bless you from wherever you are watching or reasoning from, maybe in the MBCI radio. Today we have other guests, and uh, we have uh, Dr. Stanley Michuki together with us. We also have Bishop Marema together with us. God bless you so much, all the way from Eldoret. Uh, Bishop Stanley Michuki is in Nairobi. He is one of the fathers in this land. And he is the one who is organizing the meeting in Eldoret that is going to be honoring the men and women of God who uh, have been laboring in this nation. Praise the name of the living God. The healers and hero healings of faith. Praise the name of the living God. And um, I believe it's very important for us to understand the power of honor. The Bible says when you honor your father and mother. The Bible says we honor them that labor. Praise the name of the living God. There is a power of honor. And personally, I have a great honor for the fathers of faith. Yesterday, we had a celebration in Nairobi celebrating one of our fathers also, Bishop Mamboreo 
who was celebrating his 90th birthday and 70 years in the ministry. Praise the name of the living God. You know nowadays, when you begin a ministry and in two years you have a mega church, you feel like you are more anointed than the fathers who have been there before you. But you don't know that you are walking in their labors. They are the one who broke the furrow ground. And that is why you can be able to do a very easy work because of their investment. And so we need to honor them. We need to celebrate them. We need to acknowledge them. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, uh, Dr. Stanley Mishuki will be coming later at the end of the service just to speak a word of blessing. But right now I want to welcome the man of God who is going to speak to us the word of God this morning. And this is none other than Dr. Nico Radman, who is a gatekeeper and the visionary of Mount Zion Prayer Center, celebrating 42 years in ministry. And he has served as the president of the Pentecostal and Protestant churches uh, for over two decades. Uh, let us celebrate Kenya all the way from South Africa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. You fill this place. You for the sanctuary, you're the most on a high that is coming down. Jesus. Jesus. I adore you. I love your presence. I love your presence. Thank you. Let's just give the Lord a hand of welcome father welcome jesus welcome holy spirit you know karibu baba yesu tuatambua uwepo wako you may take up your seats waweza kuketi i'm so humbled this morning to be part of this family. I honor the said man of God and every ambassador of the kingdom in our midst. It's just wonderful. <laughs> I've got a secret that I want to share with you first. For the past 70 years, Zaidi ya miaka sabini liopita, I'm part of Kingdom Seekers. Na sehemu ya kanisa la Kingdom Seekers. I don't know if the organization exists 70 years ago. 
si, si, sijui kama shirika hili ama kanisa hili limekuepo uh, miaka sabini iliyopita not that the, king, that the kingdom existed 70 years ago lakini ufalme ulikuepo miaka sabini iliyopita <laughs> So this is just a personal thing. So I'm in my month of birthday, 70. So that's why I say I'm 70 years part of Kingdom Seekers. Ah, hii ni yangu tu binafsi kwa sababu ninaenda kusherehekea miaka sabini tangu nizaliwe. It's the first time I visited the church Ni mara ya kwanza nilitembelea kanisa. My wife is not here, she's in South Africa. Na mke wangu hayuko pamoja nami yuko Afrika Kusini. I shared my wife's name with nobody here. Yeah? Mimi sijashirikisha mtu yeyote jina la mke wangu hapa. And all of a sudden my wife's name appeared on the screen. Na ghafla nikaona pale kwenye screen jina la mke wangu. Do you believe me? Unaweza ukaniamini? My wife's name is Mimi. <laughs> ah, jina la mke wangu wake ni Mimi. M I M I. M I M I. Nafikiri aliupata kwa ule wimbo. Mimi nipungue. Wewe mimi ni, mimi nipungue. Eh? Ni, eh. mi, mimi nipungue. Eh? Mimi nipungue. Mimi nipungue. <laughs> mimi nipungue. So my my assistant here, yeah, we forward the name right now back to South Africa and say hello Mimi Nupungo. Kwa hivyo mimi na msaidizi wangu tulichukua lile jina na tukalituma kule Afrika Kusini Mimi Nipungue. Hello Mimi. Hello Mimi. Uh, mimi before you get too excited it means I must decrease and he must increase. Ah. Hiyo <laughs> mimi ameshika Kiswahili chetu kwamba mimi mimi nipungue I must decrease na yeye I, I, I increase. I know time is restricted this morning I would spend the whole day here these other responsibilities. Niko na majukumu mengine hatutakaa uh, muda mwingi mahali hapa tuna majukumu mengine. I'm not here just to come and deliver a sermon and off I go. Na mimi siko hapa tu kuwahubiria ujumbe alafu tu, tu malize hivyo. I'm not going to try to teach you. Na hata sitajaribu kuwafunza. You've been properly taught. Muta, muta, mutafunzwa. I'm just here as a servant of God. Mimi niko hapa tu kama mtumishi wa Mungu. In the fullness of time. Katika utimilifu wa wakati. Divinely connected to be here this morning. Tukiwa tumeunganishwa kwa kiungu kuwa hapa asubuhi ya leo. To release a prophetic word. Ili tuachilie neno la unabii. And the test of time will be. Na majaribio ya muda utakuwa hivi. If it's going to be unfold. Kwamba itaenda kudhihirishwa ama kufunuliwa. So you know way that i want to prove anything today kwa hivyo hakuna njia yoyote ile ambayo nataka kudhibitisha kile ambacho nafanya so i'm just here to release the word of god kwa hivyo niko hapa tu kuachilia neno la mungu because the word is not mine kwa sababu neno hili si langu it's coming from above linatoka juu so i'm just the deliverer here kwa hivyo nitati tu na kuliachilia i'm part of kingdom seekers mimi ni sehemu ya wanaotafuta ufalme i'm a member of kingdom seekers mimi ni mshirika hapa kingdom i'm a member of the logo na mimi ni mmoja wapo ya uh, ukusanyiko hili seek of you first the kingdom of god tafuteni ufalme wa mungu kwanza and its righteousness na haki yake and all the other things shall be added unto you. Ayo mengine yote mtazidishiwa. Blessed are those walio heri ni wale whose hunger ambao wananja for righteousness kwa ajili ya haki because they shall be filled. Kwa sababu watajazwa. So I sense in my spirit. Kwa hivyo ninahisi ndani ya roho in this country hapa katika hii nchi in this cathedral katika cathedral hii there's a mega hungry kuna njaa kubwa for righteousness kwa ajili ya haki. 
right standing with God kusimama upande wa Mungu right standing with one another kusimama pamoja na mmoja mwingine and now the heaven is secured it na basi hata bingu imedhibitisha keep seeking na uendelee kutafuta keep thirsting hebu kaendelee kuwa na kiu and as you move forward na unapoendelea i will take care of all the other things mimi nitashughulikia yale mengine yote and it shall all be added unto you na basi itatendeka it's a wonderful privilege before i'm going to indulge in the word kwa hivyo nina tunuku hii kabla sijaingia kwa neno. It's a part of my assignment as a father of South Africa. Hii ni moja wapo ya jukumu kama baba kule Afrika Kusini. Be divinely instructed. Kuwa nimepewa maagizo ya Mungu to stand here kusimama hapa and to look at the sick man and his wife. Na kuangalia mtumishi um, wa Mungu na mkewe. We walk in obedience. Ambao huwa anatembea katika utifu. I just met with him once. Nimekutana tu nanyi mara moja. They're in their hotel room. Na watakukwambia. And when I shake his hand, na ninapomshika mkono wake, it was like Martha and Maria coming together. Ilikuwa ni kama Maria na 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 na, na Martha wakija pamoja. There was a jump in my room. Ah, ni kama Elizabeth na Maria wakija pamoja. And the jump is still here. Kulikuwa na ile mimba kuitikia. So I asked the man of God before I'm going to continue with the prophetic word. Hivyo nitauliza mtumishi wa Mungu kabla sijaendelea na ujumbe. Come your general of the cross. Ukaweze kuja hapa shujaa wa msalaba. Please bring your wife along. Na tafadhali mlete mkeo. This is the 7th of April. Leo ni tarehe 7 mwezi wa 4. It's 2024. Na ni mwaka wa 2024. It's not just a date on the calendar. Na hii si tarehe tu ambayo iko kwenye kalenda. It's been decided in the heavenlies. Hili ni jambo ambalo ni la ghafla binguni. That the agenda of this morning would look like this. Kwamba kusudi la siku hii ya leo litaenda kufanyika. This is not window dressing. Hii si jambo tu la maandalizi. This is not the honoring of men. See, he see to kuheshimu wanadamu. By acknowledge them. Lakini kuwatambua. We honor God who has called them. Tunatambua Mungu ambaye amewahutumia. So I ask the delegation from South Africa being with me. Kwa hivyo ninaomba kikundi ambacho kimetoka Afrika Kusini pamoja nami. Please join me. Tafadhali mjiunge nami. Pastor Jonathan is the administrator and the coordinator of Kingdom Vision Network at Bureau Park. Ah, uh, mchungaji Jonathan ni mmoja wapo wale ambao tunafanya kazi pale ku Afrika Kusini. We pursue no other network than Kingdom Network. Hatutafuti mashirika mengine ba, ila tu ki, kile ambacho ni cha ufalme. What's going to happen right now? Kile ambacho kinaenda kutendeka sasa hivi worldwide ulimwengu kote all the kingdom ambassadors worldwide wale ambao ni mabalozi wa ufalme ulimwengu kote if you look at the continent of africa ukija katika bara la afrika from the south point of africa kutoka pale kusini right through this continent of africa paka mahali hapa uh, katika bara hili la afrika all the kingdom seekers will be connected wote ambao ni wa kingdom seekers wataunganika Do you believe it? Unaamini hivyo. That's not a smart idea. Hilo si jambo tu la busara. That's the father's idea. Hilo ni wazo la Mungu. Because the time has come. Kwa sababu wakati umefika. While the kingdoms of this world are shaking. Kwamba falme za ulimwengu huu zitatikiswa. To show to this world. Na zitaonyesha ulimwengu. There's an unshakable kingdom. Kwamba kuna ufalme usiotingizika. That arises. Do you believe it? Na kuna ufalme ambao unainuka, unaamini? Arise. Na kuinuka. Kingdom seekers. Kingdom seekers. I want you to arise. Nataka mkaweze kuinuka. If you're not a kingdom seeker, you may be seated. Kama wewe si kingdom seekers basi keti. But arise kingdom Lakin, seekers. Lakini wenye kingdom seekers muinuke. For your time has come. Kwa sababu wakati wenyu umefika. Man of God, to wa Mungu. You know I think it's a uh, is it in the book of Malachi where it says the hearts of the fathers 
or turn to the sons. Aha, kuna mahali pale Malaki kwamba mioyo ya wababa itaweza kuwafikia ama kuwarudia wana. I'm not degrading you to a son. Mimi si kufananishi na mwana because sons also step up as fathers. Kwa sababu wana pia wanasikiza baba. But you understand the spiritual context of what I said the hearts of the fathers will turn to the sons. Lakini nafikiria unashika mada ambayo ninasema kwamba roho za baba zitarudia wana. And the hearts of the sons will turn to the fathers. Nazo roho za wana zitarudia baba. It's all about kingdom order being. He ni kuhusu mpangilio wa ufalme. And the Bible says we two or three agree. Biblia inasema mahali wawili ama watatu wamekubaliana. It shall come to pass. Basi itakuja kutimia. The throne of heaven enzi ya binguni is open about ambaye imefungua the sacred action that's taking place here kwamba siri zinazoenda kufanyika because we have this simple plague Tuko na ki, ki, kidude hiki It's in Nairobi Kenya April 24 Ambaye inasema Nairobi Kenya mwezi wa 4 mwaka wa 2024 South and East Africa Arise Conference Ah inasema kwamba kongamano Afrika Kusini na Afrika Mashariki inainuka Hebu kasome maandishi yaliyo pale chini mwisho. Nairobi Kenya April 2024 South and East Africa Arise Conference. Nairobi Kenya mwezi wa 4 mwaka wa 2024 na Afrika Kusini Afrika Mashariki yainuka. Awarded in honor of Apostle John Kimani Williams. Hii ni kwa kuheshimu mtume John Kimani William Kingdom Seekers Fellowship Nakuru Kingdom Seekers Fellowship Nakuru for exceptional service kwa ajili ya uh, huduma ya kipekee dedication and leadership kujitolea na uongozi to the church of Christ kwa mwili wa Kristo awarded by ambaye imepeanwa na Dr Nico Landman Daktari Nico Landman and prophet Dr T Rale Kulela na nabi T Rale Kulela of South Africa kutoka Afrika Kusini we have nothing hatuna chochote but what we have received lakini kile ambacho tumepokea so we not honor ourselves fabricated ideas kwa hivyo sio tu jambo ambalo linaonekana la kujitengenezea letu our self fabricated empires ama falme zetu ambazo tumejitengenezea So right now we give it back and I just want you to raise it to the heavens. Kwa hivyo sasa hivi tunakabidhi na naomba ya kwamba mkainue kielekeza mbinguni. And we raise it to the throne of God. Na tunainua katika kiti cha enzi cha Mungu. Let's honor God. Tumheshimu Mungu. Let's honor God for the grace of God. Tumheshimu Mungu kwa ajili ya watumishi wake.
Let's honor God the Father. Tumheshimu Mungu kwa ajili ya Baba. Let's honor Jesus Christ. Tumheshimu Yesu Kristo. The first who been resurrected from the dead. Ambaye ali fufuliwa kutoka kwa wafu. Let's honor the Holy Spirit. Hebu tuheshimu Roho Mtakatifu. That filled this place. Ambaye by his presence kwamba uwepo wake so right where you are mahali ambapo you reach out to the power of the spirit kafikia nguvu za roho mtakatifu it is here to honor you right now roho mtakatifu ako hapa kukuheshimisha the spirit is here to honor you roho mtakatifu ako hapa kukuheshimisha the spirit is here to touch you roho mtakatifu ako hapa kukukuza the spirit is here to counsel you roho mtakatifu apo hapa so whatever you need may be right now i didn't plan it the anointing is here upako uko mahali hapa god honor you now na mungu anakuheshimu that you will understand kwamba utafahamu it is not about men kwamba sio kuhusu yeye it is about jesus kuhusu yesu and jesus alone na yesu peke yake come on let's glorify him hebu tukumtukumtukuze come on let's glorify him hebu tumtukuze thank you jesus thank you man of god asante yesu asante mtumishi wa mungu thank you reverend naomi asante mama asante kasisi you may be seated unaweza ukaketi i just got to as i said i'm not going to i'm not going to preach sitahubiri so you have to bear with me kwa hivyo mtanivumilia everything is captured kila kitu kimeweza kunakiliwa so the the pastor and his leadership and everyone kwa hivyo mtume na uongozi na kila mmoja wanaweza pata muda na wakaweza kukata katika misingi a msingi wa ujumbe wa unabii ambao unaenda kuhubiriwa kwa hivyo nitaongelea vipengele vitatu tu and you can confirm it by coming to agreement na wewe utathibitisha kwa kukubaliana so my message this morning kwa hivyo ujumbe wangu asubuhi ya leo on the 7th of april 2024 tarehe 7 mwezi wa 4 mwaka 2024 and i'm really as i aligned with the heavenly throne na hapa ninaposimama pamoja na mungu baba i declare ninatangaza provision has come to the church utwalaji ama upeanaji umekuja kanisani Provision has come to the church. Upeanaji umekuja kanisani. Provision has come to the church. Upeanaji umekuja kanisani. Why you may say I thought it already came. You're right. Ah, na kile ambacho nimesema nafikiri umedhibitisha. It could only come. Inawezekana tu kuja and it's still coming. Na pia inaendelea kuja because of the accomplished work of the cross kwa sababu ya kazi ambayo ilikamilika pale msalabani i cannot make any proclamation here sijakuja na tangazo lingine hapa if it's not backed up by god the father the son and the holy spirit isipokuwa ni mungu baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu so as an agent of the kingdom kwa hivyo mimi kama chombo cha ufalme i secure every word mimi ninadhibitisha kila neno because i'm just the deliverer kwa sababu mimi ni mpeanaji ama mtume tu provision has come to the church kwamba upeanaji umekuja kanisani it is coming to the church right now na inakuja kanisani hata sasa hivi there's an acceleration in the provision that's coming to the church right now kuna kuongezeka kwa utwalaji kwa kanisa hata sasa like you've never seen before kama haujawahi ona hapo mbeleni so don't get trapped in doubt kwa hivyo usiingie katika shaka don't get trapped in unbelief kwa hivyo usiingie katika kutoamini it's done imefanyika so what i want to do i just want to read one scripture kwa hivyo naenda kusoma andiko moja and then i immediately go to the layers of provision that god has in store for this time na nitaweza kuzungumzia yale ambao mungu ameenda anaenda kufanya katika utwalaji i just give the point of reference nitakupatia tu andiko ambalo utaweza kuangalia what i'm talking about the back up of the provision kwa sababu ninaongea kuhusu nguvu zilizo nyuma na utwalaji wa mungu i'm talking about the fundamental Ninaongea kuhusu mambo yaliyo ya kimsingi principles that should carry this provision kanuni za msingi ambazo zitakupatia utwalaji huu 
I'm talking about the cornerstone that guaranteed this provision. So I'm, stand, I'm not standing here as an opportunistic preacher. I'm just not going to distribute popular statements. I'm not going to entangle you in my personal commission to be here today. All that I can tell you, it didn't happen coincidentally. Because there's always a surprise in the kingdom. The mystery and people close to me will understand. My mission started on the 1st of April when I got to Oliver Tambu Airport. And I landed here in Nairobi. So it's been settled, it's been done. Why do I elaborate on this? I don't want no demon to touch what God is busy doing here. No whispering. No maybe or maybe not. I stand, on the, I stand on the cornerstone himself. And I say to the church, he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So I just want to touch quickly on Matthew 16. I'm just going to use that in term, but I'm going to head to a second portion of scripture. So I just from verse 16, Simon Peter answered after Jesus asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, Matthew 16, 16, you are the Christ. The son of the living God. Okay, Petro. Na Simoni Petro akajibu akasema. Wewe ndiwe Christo mwana wa mungu aliye hai. Jesus replied. Yesu akajibu. Blessed are you Simon, son of Jonah. Heri wewe Simoni Bayona. For this was not revealed to you by man. Kwa kuwa mwili na damu haviku kufunulia hili. But by my father in heaven. Bali baba yangu aliye binguni. Just pause a moment. Our father we chart in heaven. Baba wetu uliye binguni. Hallowed be thy name. Jina lako litukuzwe. Let thy kingdom come. Ufalme wako uje. Right here now. Hapa sasa hivi. On the 7th of April. Katika tarehe saba mwezu wane. Right here in this gathering. Hapa katika kusanyiko hili. Right here with this church. Hapa katika kanisa hili. Lord, I'm in Nakura. Baba, niko Nakuru. You know exactly where I am. Unajua hasua niko wapu. So I thank you, Father. Kwa hivyo nina kushukuru, Baba. Jesus replied, you Simon, Simon, son of Jonah, this was not revealed to you by man, but by my father in heaven. Yesu akajibu akasema mwana wa adamu. Hili haliku funduli wakwako kwa adamu, lakini ni baba aliye binguni. And I tell you that you are Peter. Na mina kuambia wewe ni Petero. On this rock I will build my church. Na juu ya muamba huu ni talijenga kanisa langu. Build my church. Talijenga kanisa langu. Build my church. And the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I'll, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom. I announced it during the week at the conference in Nairobi. Nilitangaza wiki hii katika kongamano kule Nairobi. That my text this morning is from verse 21. Kwamba andiko langwa subuhi ya leo ni katika neno hii. After that heavenly Proclamation has been made on earth. The Son of Man being revealed. You're on earth. And this conversation between him and Peter, and they tried to find out. And to secure the foundation of this mission. So when Peter said, you're the son of the living God. He immediately gave it away to his father. 
Should be because you're not able to get to that word. Kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe haungefikia hayo. Must have come from my father. Lazima iwe umepata ufunuo kutoka juu. So I want all of you to look upwards to the heavens. Kwa hivyo nataka kila mmoja wetu tukaangalie mbinguni. And say, Father, angalia jibu nguni useme baba. Ulie mbinguni. Thank you that you endorse the words of a man. Asante kwa sababu wewe una because Jesus took it back to where it came from. It came from Baba. But something happened now. From that moment. From that Kairos moment. After the foundation was laid. The same disciple Peter yule yule mwanafunzi Petro you find him in the book of Peter utampata katika waraka wake Petro is there on a construction site building ako pale katika mahali pa mjengo initially he thought when he received that revelation and the father endorsed it mm, kabla hapo awali alikuwa amepata huo ufunuo kutoka Maybe kwa I'm wrong, but if I if I look at his response I think he thought that he is the cornerstone Labda nimekosea lakini ni kama Petro alifikia yeye ndiye jiwe la pembeni. There are still religious groups that see him as the rock. Na kuna baadhi ya madhehebu ambayo yanafikiria kwamba Petro ndiye jiwe la pembeni. I to step up publicly and say Peter is not the cornerstone. Lakini ninasimama kwa umati kusema ya kwamba Petro si jiwe la pembeni. But he became a living stone. Yeye alifanyika jiwe lililo hai. In the building process. Katika mpangilio wa mjengo. A co-worker yeye alimfanyika mmoja wa wajenzi with a cornerstone mmoja wa wajenzi katika lile jiwe la pembeni i wonder this is because the spirit full is whole place kwa sababu uh, roho yuko kila mahali i just do it intentionally nimeifanya hivi kimaksudi because he has also thousands of angels surrounding us kwa sababu kuna malaika ambao wametuzingira in my spirit i just sense katika roho yangu ninahisi kuna malaika wametuzingira every proclamation we make kila tangazo ambalo tunafanya it's been carried to the throne of god inapelekwa kwenye kiti cha so I want you to say Jesus. You are the rock of my salvation. Jesus. Yes. I will deny all other names. And I crown this morning. The only name of Jesus. Kwamba ni jina la Yesu pekee. Jesus is not a name. Yesu sio jina tu that many other names that's been taken up in religions all over the world and they said although we have another name they say all the roads will lead to one god i'm not arrogant this morning but i declare publicly that is only one way there's one two kuna ukweli mmoja and his name is Jesus Christ na yeye ni Yesu Kristo i wonder if i have people in this place ninashanga kama nina watu hapa seekers in this place that say Jesus ambao wanasema Yesu you are the rock kwamba wewe ndiye mwamba can you stand a moment with me hebu simama pamoja nami because we stand in front of the throne of god kwa hivyo tunasimama mbele ya kiti cha mungu and i want you to do this with me nataka ufanye hivi pamoja nami and you say Jesus na useme you are the rock of ages cleft for me sacrifice your life at Calvary suffer two days but on the third day you have been raised from the death that's the God that we serve let's shout joy let's shout celebration Come on, let's increase. Let's increase. Okay. Quickly sit down. Quickly. 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 To his disciples, kwa wanafunzi wake, he must go to Jerusalem. Kwamba lazima mkaenende Yerusalemu. 
and suffer. Namkaweze kupata mateso mengi. Many things. Labda vitu. Who's gonna bring suffering to him? Ni nani atakayeleta mateso kwake? He said I'm going to suffer many things at the hands of the elders. Kasema nitateseka mateso mengi kwa wazee wakuu wa makuhani. At the hands of chief priests. Kwa mikono ya makuhani wakuu and teachers of the law. Na hata walimu wa sheria Torati. You see religious can be very cruel. Unajua dini inaweza kuwa katili sana. It can be very rude. Eh, dini inaweza kuwa ambayo ni kiburi sana. That he must be killed. Kwamba lazima auawe. It is not me that explained it. Jesus himself the cornerstone said I'm going to suffer. Sio mimi naelezea lakini Yesu Kristo ambaye ni jiwe la pembeni anaelezea maneno haya. The hand of the religious officers nitakuwa katika mikono ya uh, maafisa wa kidini so he didn't promote the kingdom of darkness kwa hivyo wao walikuwa wanainua ufalme wa giza he just brought it in context and he said that on the third day lakini akasema katika siku ya tatu i will raise to life nitafufuka kutoka kwa wafu so every provision that's coming to the church has been secured by Jesus self. I call that proclamation the third day. So I'm here to prophetically release the power of the third day kuachilia nguvu za siku hiyo ya tatu the third dimension na uh, himaya ya tatu the third dimension himaya ya tatu the world's operating ambayo ulimwengu inafanya kazi in first dimensions ah neno la Mungu linafanya katika himaya maeneo tatu in second dimensions ya kwanza ya pili the third dimension na ya tatu belongs to Jesus because he said I go through two days but the third day the third day I will be resurrected from the dead the third day I'm calling the third dimension in the natural it's the full completion of the truth if I look at that wall nikiangalia ukuta huo it's one dimension ni ukuta ni upande mmoja there's no definite haionekani upande mwingine there's restricted meaning in it hiyo inamaanisha kwamba huwezi kaona upande ule mwingine when i look at the screen nikiangalia screen hii it's one dimension ni upande mmoja if i look at it from the side nikienda upande huu mwingine i saw you as a deeper dimension basi ninaona upande wa ndani zaidi it brings more clarity na inaleta uwazi zaidi it's two dimensional kwamba ina, ina upande mbili but the third dimension lakini kuna upande wa tatu it's the full picture ni picha kamili it's the full work ni kazi kamili and it's the display in the fullness of what it means na inadhihirishwa kikamilifu inamaanisha nini so if jesus say kama yesu alisema the third day kwamba siku ya tatu he, he referred to the complete work alimaanisha kazi ambayo imekamilika he referred to the full reflection and the radiance of the third dimension alimaanisha ule udhihirisho wa mianga ya ambao ni kamilifu ya utukufu wa Mungu so very quickly i'm just going to touch on the third dimension kwa hivyo kwa haraka naenda kuzungumzia kiwango hiki cha tatu it will be display it's not just a theory it's not just theology it's on display itaenda kudhihirishwa na si kuelewa tu kwa maneno na sio kithiolojia tu lakini inaenda kudhihirishwa you will even recognize it in provision na pia unaenda kuona udhibitisho wake kwa kupata utwalaji wake you will know exactly where it comes from na utajua imetoka wapi so it's also a test na pia ime... all the products that's coming 
kwamba kuna vitu vingine ambavyo vinakuja all the provision that's coming to the church utoalaji wote ambao unakuja kanisani will not be one dimensional display haitakuwa tu ni kipengele kimoja not two dimensional display sio vipengele viwili it will be three dimensional ni katika aina tatu so i want to dare to say right here kwa hivyo niko hapa kusema inakura hapa nakuru there will people go around kwa kwamba kutakuwa na mzunguko they will even draw crowds Ah kuna watu ambao watazungumza wanasema lakini kile ambacho watakuwa nafanya they display one dimensional magic watakuwa tu wanadhihirisha upande mmoja wa sarata, sarakasi some will display two dimensional na wengine wataonyesha pande mbili they will even put a live person in a coffin na hata wataweka mtu ambaye hajakufa kwenye jeneza and raise him from the dead alafu wajifanye sarakasi wanamfufua this is what's happening now hii ndio inayotendeka sasa so the kingdom of god should be on display kwa hivyo udhihirisho wa ufalme wa Mungu unafaa kudhihirishwa and we receive nothing na tutupokee unless it is three dimensional tusipokee lolote isipokuwa tu kama ni upande tatu the stamp the branding ili tuweze kukomesha you should look at the problem ili tuweze kukomesha unafiki huu lazima tuangalie pande zote zote and the branding would say na kuna kipengele ambacho kinasema when you look it from any side unapoangalia kutoka ndani it will say itasema to god be the glory kwa mungu utukufu apokee to god the father kwa mungu baba to god the son kwa mungu mwana and to god the holy spirit kwa mungu roho mtakatifu to the three dimensional revelation of the kingdom of god katika pande zote za ufunuo wa ufalme wa Mungu. So I'm standing as a servant God. Utnaposmtumikia Mungu. You know exactly where I'm standing. Unajua mahali ambapo umesimamia. Heavens are open. Pingu zimefunguka. I was there at heaven's gate yesterday. Nilikuwa pale heaven's gate jana. Lord you were there? Na, na wewe haukuwa. And you look down. Na ukiangalia chini. While I explore the land. Napoangalia nchi. I want to see if it's one dimensional. Nikataka kujua kama ni upande mmoja. I want to see if it's two dimensional. Na nataka kuona pia kama ni pande mbili. But since I drove through that gate. Lakini nilipoingia kwenye hilo lango. And since I walk out na nilipotoka i saw to god be the glory nilisema utukufu mrudie mungu to the father be the glory kwa mungu baba apokee utukufu so this service is not to walk out and say it was a good service kwa hivyo hii si ibada ya kusema tu ati kwamba ilikuwa ibada nzuri we got to bless the throne of god this morning nataka niseme ya kwamba keti kiti cha enzi cha mungu kiko nasi leo we gonna let the whole heaven is rise na hebu tukasababishe ubingu ikaweze kuinuka I think at this moment na nafikiria wakati huu all the angels are assembled malaika wamekusanyika wote and they assembled right here at this point na wamekusanyika mahala hapa and they said let's join na wanasema hebu tuunganike that proclamation na hilo tangazo that freedom mentional ambaye ni pande tatu reflection ambaye inadhihirisha and it's honor the god of the throne na inatoka katika kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo with the seven spirits of god na roho zile saba za Mungu the spirits of zile roho saba za Mungu the fear of god hofu ya Mungu the spirit of wisdom and understanding roho ya hekima na maarifa it's not a chant the fear of the lord na maarifa na kumcha mungu and counsel seven spirits of god na hata ushauri wa roho wa mungu so the seven spirits of god kwa hivyo roho saba za mungu is also here to link up yuko hapa pamoja nasi kuunganika so even on the network and the cloud hata hata pale katika uh, network ya kuunganisha right kila kitu kitaweza kudhibitishwa to bring it to the utmost parts of the world ili ikaweze kuenea ulimwenguni kote provision is coming to the church na upeanaji ambao unakuja kwa kanisa because if you uplift me kwa sababu ukiamini pamoja nami i will uplift you niki ukiniinua nitakuinua so i just want to give a brief report kwa hivyo nitawapeana ripoti fupi of my journey here ya safari yangu because yesterday that was part of the assignment kwa sababu jana ilikuwa moja wapo ya majukumu i went to the prayer mountain nilienda pale mlimani heaven's gate heaven's gate because my whole spirit can align kwa sababu moyo wangu ulilainika because 20 20 20 no 21 22 years ago kwa sababu mwa, mwaka wa 2022 miaka miwili imepita I was sitting in my office in Johannesburg 
Nilikuwa nimeketi kwenye ofisi yangu kule Johannesburg. I turned my chair. Nikageuza pendua kiti changu. I looked through the window. Nikaangalia kwenye dirisha. There was just a wall between the site on the other side. Kulikuwa na ukuta upande ule mwingine. The site on the other side was a dumping site. Na upande ule mwingine ni mahali ambapo takataka inatupwa. I grew up as a child on that premises. Na mimi nilikuwa nikutoka nikiwa mdogo maeneo hayo. So that was the cast out land. Kwa hivyo hapo ni mahali ambapo palikuwa pamedharauliwa sana. That was dead soil. Hilo ni huo ni udongo ambao ulikuwa umeachiliwa. Lakini mghafla there was a three dimensional unfolding kulikuwa na vip a uh, upande tatu zikifunuliwa so allow me just to touch on it and just bring the similarities of what's happening here niruhusu tu nigusie mambo hayo matatu ambayo yanaambatanisha na jambo hili i could see nothing sikuwa naona chochote but i just heard lakini nikasikia establish a prayer mountain a prayer tower on that hill kasema kwamba nijengee mlima wa maombi pale ule kwenye huo mlima and it will release power to the surrounding area na ilikuwa ni katika maeneo ambayo yanazingira mahali hapo for many years ancient years kwa miaka mingi ambayo imepita it was protected mahali hapo palikuwa pamehifadhiwa it was hidden palikuwa pamefichwa but under that dump and rubbish na chini ya takataka hizo there was a purpose in heaven palikuwa na kusudi mbinguni to remove all the soil ili udongo uondolewe and miraculously three hills open na kwa miujiza um, mambo mambo yakafunguka we have never seen it in the past hatujawaiona hapo awali it was just a heap palikuwa tu na murundiko but when we start executing lakini tulipoanza kuondoa it unfold into three hills alifunguka milima mitatu and when i stepped up and i saw what is unfolding na niliposimama na kuona kile ambacho kinafunguka i said this is god the father son and the holy spirit kile kasema milima hii tatu ni baba mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu we've never seen the tree right in the center hatujawaiona tatu katikati pale i said my god what is this nikajiuliza hii ni nini mungu wangu it's an old ancient tree Eh hii ni siri ambayo ni ya ya awali ya kale. And the Lord said God the Father God the Son Holy Spirit. Naye Bwana akaniambia Mungu Baba Mungu Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. And right in the center the tree of life. Na pale katikati ni mti wa uzima. So three dimensional. Kwa hivyo pande hizo tatu the third day unfold. Zilifunguka mbele yangu. When I walked up yesterday, nilipokuja jana, you must remember I'm here on a mission. Nilipoamka jana nilikumbushwa kwamba niko hapa kwenye tume. I appreciate all the hospitality. Ninafurahia uh, kukaribishwa kuzuri. We have been taken care as king and queens. Tumeshughulikiwa kama mabinti wa falme wa ya wafalme. I release a prophetic word somewhere along the line I think it was in 23 the restoration of the royal priesthood. Na nikaachilia neno la unabii kule kurejeshwa kwa makuhani wa kifalme. The Lord brought me to Kenya Bwana alinileta Kenya that I should look around ili niangalie nitazame and said it's not something for the future na niseme kwamba hili si jambo la wakati utakao kuja is busy release the royal priesthood lakini Bwana tayari anaachilia makuhani wa kifalme no i don't want a response sitaki muitikie i want you to value ninataka uangalie udhamana i'm making statements here na ufanye matangazo haya the royal priesthood will arise kwamba makuhani wa kifalme watainuka and they will show a splendor that this world has never seen before na watadhihirisha utukufu wa Mungu ulimwengu haujawaiona hapo mbali i wish i wish i had time but i haven't got na tamani ningekuwa na wakati mwingi zaidi. So I just going to run through the next 10 minutes to give me a three quarter hour whatever that. Hivyo nitasema tu kwa haraka mambo ambayo nilitaka kuyasema. So yes. Ndio. There was a lot uh, a pastor a lot of similarities we call it ours uh, Mount Zion prayer. Room. Kuna mambo ambayo yanafanana kule Mount Zion prayer center. Uh, this prayer center is multiple time bigger larger na mlima huo wa maombi una mambo mengi ambayo huwa yanafanyika pale but you must remember there is diversity in the body of christ lakini uh, kumbuka hivi ya kwamba ni kwa ukombozi wa mwili wa kristo the foundation of it is prayer na kwamba msingi wa hii ni maombi and that was the assignment na hiyo ndio ilikuwa tume the wonder about this hill 
na na shangaa na, na jiuliza na kushangaa kuhusu wewe and i i heard people coming off all over the world just to separate themselves and spend time because that's the that's the anointing that rests there ya kwamba watu wanatembea kunasafiri kutoka ulimwenguni na kuja mahali hapo kutafuta uso wa Mungu kwa sababu uwepo wa Mungu uko hapo Mount Zion prayer is right in the center of South Africa Gauteng Mount Zion iko pale katikati ya Afrika Kusini So if you stand on the hill kwa hivyo ukisimama pale kwenye huo mlima you can see 360 degree unaweza ukaangalia uzunguko so the city of gold is there the city of city of gold johannesburg oh kuna mji ambao unaitwa mji wa dhahabu the biggest the biggest business hub surely in south africa santon city na biashara nyingi zinafanyika mahali pale kwenye huo mji and when you go to the east na unapoangalia mashariki the international airport oliver tambo utapata uwanja uh, wa ndege ambao unaitwa tambo so right in the triangle right in a center pale katikati ya hiyo triangle of the three main ways that usher into this location pale katikati ambapo uh, uh, mlima uko there's a hill that's been secured kuna mlima ambao ulihifadhiwa called mount zion ambao unaitwa mlima wa so zion so the main objective there kwa hivyo from there it's a light out so the highways and the byways everyone see the hill kutoka kwenye huo mlima yeyote anayetoka katika pande tatu anaweza kuona huo mlima so slowly but surely the impact of that light house na hapo kuna mwale na nguvu zinazotoka katika mahali pale our specific assignment is to establish houses of prayer na tumepewa jukumu la ku kuinua na kujenga nyumba za maombi and we are also assigned to establish 24/7 prayer towers na pia tumejukumiwa kujenga maombi ambayo yatakuwa yanaombwa saa 24 kwa kila siku the core logo na uh, kiini cha huu mwito that's the inheritance before mount zion na uh, okay urithi kabla ya mlima huu lefitika 630 ni Uh, walawi mlango wa 6:30 it says inasema it's not just a smart idea sio tu wazo it's, nzuri it says keep the fire on the altar burning uh, inasema kwamba hili si swala tu nzuri ama wazo nzuri lakini ukaweze kufanya moto wa madhabahu wake so i proclaim today hivyo ninatangaza leo hii with this massive prayer house being established katika nyumba ambazo zinainuliwa za maombi one in johannesburg moja pale johannesburg a few people came to see me already to establish prayer hills all over the continent tayari kuna watu ambao wamekuja kuniona ili waanzishe chumba cha maombi katika maeneo yao i think two months ago uh, two months ago a mega piece of land was released in ethiopia for a prayer tower miezi miwili ambayo imepita kule Ethiopia ekari mbili zilitengwa kwa ajili ya nyumba ya maombi. So man of God can you see what's happening? Mtu wa Mungu unaona kile ambacho kinafanyika? Can you think if all these start networking? Na hayo yote yanaunganisha ni network. We establish a network all over the world. Tunaweza kudhibitisha na kuimarisha ma- uh, maeneo haya yote ulimwenguni. That will occupy the atmosphere. Ambayo itaweza ku- kumiliki eneo la anga. We call it the air force of the Ambayo kingdom. Ambayo tunaiita jeshi la hewa la So if the air force is established. Kwa hivyo kuna jeshi la hewa la God is going to release the priest. God is going to gonna... release the priest. Sorry. Ana... Sorry that I accelerate now. Mungu God... anaachilia makuhani wa kiungu. So the 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 foot soldiers ili majeshi wa miguu they cannot move watatembea if the air is not occupied na kama anga haijashikiliwa so kingdom seekers kwa hivyo kingdom seekers the time has come wakati umefika he said i'll build my church anasema kwamba nitalijenga kanisa langu that globally i prophesy na kwa hivyo ninatangaza hadharani if the prayer network will be stretched kwa ujasiri kwamba network ya maombi if the continent turn away kama bara zingine hazitafanya hata hapa afrika so i declare kwa hivyo ninatangaza over this continent kwa hii bara over this continent kwa bara hili your kingdom kwamba ufalme wa will be established utathibitishwa arise africa inukeni africa arise africa inukeni africa it's not a slogan itakuja get the force down there kainuke get the 
falls down there. I'm just going to reflect to the sign. I'll just go wherever the Lord stops me. But uh, just help me, God. Spirit of God, please help me. I, I just want to run. When we walk through, and I see the hand of God at heaven's gate, the Lord has brought Pastor Rachel, her husband Peter, Pastor Jonathan, he's with me, along. Mungu ametuleta. Mchungaji Jonathan na mchungaji Rachel na mume wake ametuleta hapa ili tuweze kuona at all the beautiful staff of heaven's gate who treated us like angels. Na hata watenda kazi pale heaven's gate ambao walitukaribisha kwa ukarimu sana. We run through that place because time is short. Tumependezwa na mahali pale. And when I get to the end of the prayer na nilipo tamatisha maombi yangu pale I heard somebody say something here on the side Nilisikia mtu akisema jambo pale kando And I look and immediately I said it, it's not possible Na nikiangalia nikasema haita haiwezekani I just want to mention it to you Na nitayalisema tu kwenu You can despise it but in the prophetic eye uangalie katika asili macho ya kiasili it gives you a reflection whether this coordination between the natural truth and the spiritual truth is always critical kwa sababu ukiangalia mambo ya asili na mambo ambayo ni ya kiunabii ama ya kiroho wakati mwingine zinabishana right at the end of our tour baada ya mwisho wa matembezi yetu somebody just mentioned and i stood there and i said god kuna mtu tu alisema na nikasimama pale nikasema mungu because i was standing at the spot where the map of africa sababu nilikuwa nimesimama mahali ambapo kuna ile ramani ya afrika it's on display ambaye ime ime inaonekana but it's organic it's life ambayo inaonekana ni vitu vilivyo hai yani ni maua yamepandwa ya yanaonyesha map ya afrika ramani ya afrika i'm not here to compare mimi siko hapa kulinganisha i'm not being trapped in idle words mimi si jaribu tu ku kuigiza maneno mengine so god secured at the spirit of god when i'm on that side kwa hivyo nikapata kuelewa kwamba niko mahali hapa i was carried away na nikachukuliwa because me and my wife we were in israel kwa sababu kuna wakati mimi na mke wangu tulitembea kule israeli a few years ago miaka michache iliyopita and when we got back the the spirit said plant an olive orchard at the foot of the mountain now uh come again we should plant an olive you know the olive tree yes an olive orchard oh, okay tulipo rudi roho bwana akatushawishi ya kwamba tukaweze kupanda mizeituni pale chini ya huo mlima wetu so we literally me and my wife start to plant the olive trees na tulipo mimi na mke wangu tulipo amua kupanda mimi zeituni ai mimi ah yeye na mimi mke hey, wake mimi. yeye na mimi mke wake you remember that day unakumbuka hizo <laughs> siku aha wakati walipanda took us some time tukachukua muda but a guy stepped up when we almost finish na kuna mtu ambaye alikuja kama tunakaribia kumaliza na this olive orchard unapokuja na kuangalia kwenye lile shamba la mizeituni and it said it's quite interesting kasema kwamba hii ni ajabu ya kushangaza sana he said it's the map of africa nasema kwamba nimetembea nimetembea afrika the land of africa Hey, I'm just playing the Africa. Ambaye ina inaonyesha ramani ya Afrika. We didn't have a card of Africa in front of us. Hatukuwa na mwito wa Afrika mbele yetu. We not say we're going to do something special and peculiar we're going to plant Africa. Hatukuwa na jambo ambalo tunasema kwamba tunaweza fanya Afrika nzima, likaguze Afrika. So it's been divinely orchestrated. Kwa hivyo hili ni jambo ambalo Mungu mwenyewe amepangilia. And then what happened? Na unajua ni nini kilifanyika? Every moment of the day, 
kila siku kila wakati every week kila juma you can go to the olive orchard ungeenda pale kwenye lile shamba la mizeituni you find a delegate from africa in that olive orchard na utapata watu ambao wanatoka afrika pale kwenye hilo shamba la mizeituni you find the utapata waombezi so they walk train you for seven how many years through that olive orchard na wanatembea pale kwenye hilo shamba la mizeituni and they pray for provision na wanaomba ya kwamba mungu awatualie na mungu atualie afrika so i put claim today kwa hivyo ninasimama hapa leo kutangaza i proclaim today ninatangaza leo provision is coming to kwamba utwalaji upeanaji is coming to africa upeanaji unakuja africa provision is coming to africa upeanaji unakuja africa what is peculiar kile ambacho ni cha kipekee in matthew 16 katika mathayo 16 after Peter's confession of Christ baada ya Peter kukiri kuhusu Kristo Jesus predicts his death and he said it will be on the third day na Yesu anasema ya kwamba atakufa baada ya siku ya tatu I wish I could open up the prophetic word of Uzziah 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 6 ningetamani ya kwamba nikafungue ule uh, ile ishara ya unabii wa Uzia but I'm going to take the core the nucleus out of Uzia 6 and just release it lakini nitachukua tu lile uh, ule unabii wa Isaia 6 na niachilie it's not what i heard sio kile ambacho nilisikia i experienced it physically mimi niliweza kukumbana na hiyo hali kiasili i've been through the materialization of uzia 6 nimeweza kukumbana hali ambayo ni halisi ya isaia 6 i can i can show you journal the date and dates are there na naweza nikakuonyesha mahali ambapo nilinukuu kile ambacho kilifanyika though we have the spirit of the lord ingawa tunaye roho wa mungu i want you to open your heart nataka ufungue moyo wako you remember what jesus said unakumbuka kile ambacho yesu alisema so it boils down that after two days kwamba alisema baada ya siku mbili i will be taken to the cross mimi nitapelekwa msalabani to open up the third dimension ili nikaweze kufungua upande wa tatu for eternity kabla ya umilele it's not just positive preaching sio tu kuhubiri your inheritance are captured in the third dimension a uh, urithi wako umekamatwa ama umeshikwa katika upande huu wa that's why tatu. peter says this inheritance he who urithi it cannot be spoiled hawezi ukaharibiwa it cannot fade hawezi ukashindwa it cannot be taken away hawezi ukachukuliwa kutoka kwa sealed in the heavenly sio imewekwa muhuri bibi you are born into this kingdom na wewe umezaliwa katika ufalme of jesus christ damu ya yesu kristo by the confession of your mouth by kwa 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 kukiri kwa mkinywa chako you are destined for eternity na wewe hatima yako ni ya umilele so i declare what's happening in the world right now hiyo haijalishi kinachotendeka ule Can I take your inheritance away? Haiwezi kuchukua urithi wako. It cannot shake you. Haiwezi kutingiza. But everything else will be shaken. Lakini kingine chochote kitatingizwa. Yes, you will be tested. Kwa hivyo wewe utajaribiwa ndio. To see whether you keep going on. Na ukiendelea kukaza mwendo. And believe that Jesus is the truth. Na kwamba uamini Yesu ndio ukweli. So you will also be shaken. Na wewe hauta utatingizwa. You will always also be tested. Na pia utajaribiwa. Jesus said I have to suffer. Na Yesu akasema nitateseka. But I'm on the way. Lakini niko kwenye njia to secure the third day. Ili nikaweze kuhifadhi siku hiyo ya tatu. I read it then I'm going to go to the last point. Kwa hivyo nitasoma alafu niende kwa kinyi kipengele cha mwisho. So it's Isaiah 6 verse 2 says. Is uh Isaiah uh, Isaiah 6 sita. Isaiah sita. It says I mean I can I can imagine the hell is trembling because ancient prophetic word sababu neno hili ni la kinabi is coming alive inakuwa inafanyika hai thank you he said Santa. after two days alisema baada ya siku mbili he will revive us atatu atatuhuisha on the third day na siku ya tatu the three dimensional day a 
hiyo ni pande ya tatu he will listen carefully he will restore us atakurejesha first two days to revive siku za kwanza mbili ni kufuhuisha the third day i will restore you siku ya tatu ni kurejesha i want you to confess it with me i'm in the third day Hebu useme pamoja nami niko katika siku ya tatu. Restoration is coming to me. Siku ya tatu urejesho unakuja kwangu. Restoration is coming to me. Urejesho unakuja kwangu. Restoration is coming to me. Urejesho unakuja kwangu. So what I just want to share with you. Kwa hivyo kile ambacho nataka ni kuweza kukushirikisha. I wish I could go through the the sequence of after two days ningetamani nikaweze kuenda katika ule mpangilio wa hizo siku mbili but i i take you to another fundamental truth and then i'm closing down lakini naenda kukupatia moja wapo ya msingi ukweli ambao ni wa kimsingi it is in look for and isaiah 61 taangalia pale ishaia 61 isaiah 61 and look for isaia 61 it is all about provision na Luka 4 ni kuhusu utwalaji ama upianaji. It is all about the son of God orchestrating that this provision should come. Hii ni kuhusu vile mwana wa Mungu alivyotenge alivyoandaa maandalizi ya upianaji huu. So what happened in Luke 4? Kile kilichotendeka katika Luka 4. Jesus went to the synagogue. Yesu alienda kwenye sinagogi. He was he exploring the land. Na yeye alikuwa anaangalia nchi because he has been entrusted with a trust deed. Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anatamani ni nani atakaye kabidhi urithi to secure it for eternity. Ili akaweze kuhifadhi kwa ajili ya umilele. So he went into the synagogue like we akaingia kwenye sinagogi and he asked for the scroll of Isaiah 61 o akaitisha chuo cha nabii Isaia and they brought the scroll to him. Na wakaleta chuo cha nabii Isaia. I just want you to realize this. Nataka wewe utambue tu hii. It shouldn't be new for him. Haingekuwa kwako kwa ajili ya because, because that's the script of a prophet. Kwa sababu hiyo ni nje na unabii. A prophet has nothing. Nabii hana chake chochote. So should just be given to him. Kwa hivyo inapaswa tu apewe. So Jesus was there when the script was written. Kwa hivyo Yesu alikuepo wakati chuo cha nabii kilikuwa kinaandikwa. So he could quote it. Na aka, akaikariri. They open the scroll. Na akafungua ile chuo. And he said this. Na akasema hivi. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. Roho wa Bwana ni juu yangu. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. Roho wa Bwana aliyemkuu juu yangu. The spirit of the spirit of the sovereign lord is upon me roho wa bwana yu juu yangu because he has anointed me sababu amenitilia mafuta i want you to listen to preach nataka usikilize kuhubiri to preach the good news kuhubiri habari njema to the poor kwa walio walio maskini and secondly na ya pili to proclaim kutangaza to preach kuhubiri to proclaim kuhubiri kutangaza to preach na kuhubiri to proclaim kutangaza that is deliverance for everyone that's been imprisoned kwamba kuna ukombozi kwa yeyote ambaye ametekwa mnyara father with due respect to the heavenlies baba kwa heshima za biunguni i didn't understand it mimi sikuelewa while you have to endorse the three dimension kwamba ukaweze kutia muhuri maeneo hayo tatu why did you quote just kwa nini uli na kili hiyo tu preaching and proclaiming kwamba kuhubiri na kutangaza and then you roll up and you give it back alafu unafunga chuo na kurudisha because the third i mentioned should still unfold kwa sababu eneo hili la tatu linafaa kufunuliwa so what happened kwa hivyo ni nini kilitendeka i grew up as a sunday school teacher a child in the church mimi nilikuwa kama mtoto wa sunday school pale kanisani preachers for many years nilikuwa nimesikiza wahubiri kwa miaka mingi they quote look for na walikuwa wanakariri huu mstari wa mlango wa nne wa luka they said the spirit of the lord is upon me na walikuwa wakitangaza wanasema roho wa bwana yu juu yangu because he has appointed me kwa sababu amenichagua to preach the gospel to the poor kuhubiri injili kwa maskini and to proclaim deliverance for the imprisoned na kutangaza ukufunguliwa kwa aliyofungwa my spirit got conditioned na moyo wangu ukawa ni kama ume ume umefungwa kwa njia fulani and then i heard preachers quote na nikasikia wahubiri wakikariri and i align because that's what i know na najua kwamba hivyo ni kitu ambacho najua so sometime ago not very long na kwa muda ambao si wa mbali sana the spirit of the lord said go to the full script na maandiko ya kan, uh, roho wa mungu akaniambia hebu kaende kwa huo mstari kamili <laughs> you'll find the third day there 
basi utapata ile siku ya tatu katika huo mstari and the third dimension is there na hata ki, kiwango cha eneo hilo la tatu kiko pale he knew exactly when he took that scroll na alijua haswa alipochukua hicho chuo he can move just that far na anaweza kaenda umbali huo be sorry i am on a journey i have to go to jerusalem na kwa sababu niko safarini lazima niende jerusalem so close the scroll kwa hivyo akachukua chuo when i got back to the ancient historical prophetic word nilipoenda katika maandishi ma, ma ya unabii wa kale just this point of interest you must understand ni kwa ili ili uele ili uweze kuwa na ufahamu a jesus came to the synagogue about 2000 years ago kwamba yesu alikuja kwenye sinagogu tangia miaka 2000 pita ambayo imepita he, he took up one of his documents akachukua moja wapo ya uh, nakala zake because he will not share to any prophet kwa sababu yeye hakuwa amezuiliwa na najua nabii sio mtumishi na rafiki and he will do nothing na hawezi akafanya chochote unless he shared it uh, ila tu akishirikisha mtu but that document lakini hiyo nakala i don't try to be a smart theologian here mimi sijaribu tu kuwa mwana theologia that manuscript is about running for a period of 700 to 740 years before christ nakala hiyo ya isaia imechukua kama miaka 700 uh, na 40 now i want you to take it in your spirit lakini nataka uchukue katika roho yako if it's been released by god kwamba kama imeachiliwa na mungu it can be 750 years inaweza kuwa miaka 750 it can be 2750 inaweza kuwa uh, miaka 2750 his word will never turn back void hakuna neno lake ambalo litamrudia buri it will never come back empty hakuna neno litakalo rudi buri so i declare this morning kwa hivyo ninatangaza neno hili that ancient script in isaiah 60 wamba hilo neno neno lililo katika Isaia 60 is become alive inafanyika hai because the third day is with us siku ya tatu iko pamoja nasi the church usher into na kanisa limeingizwa the fullness of our inheritance katika utimilifu wa urithi wake so i want you and i'm just going to quote kwa hivyo kila mmoja kila mmoja wetu nataka tukaweze kukariri and then i'm just going to finish na tutaweza kumalizia now from the script sasa nitasoma kutoka kwa andiko this is what it says hii ndivyo inavyosema one the spirit of the sovereign lord is on me roho wa bwana yuko juu yangu because he has anointed me kwa sababu amenitilia mafuta you find the words it reflects here to preach good news to the poor kuhubiri habari njema kwa maskini he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted amenituma ili nikaweze kuponya mioyo iliyojeruhiwa freedom for captives na hata kufungua mateka huru secondly na ya pili you hear preach unasikia kuhubiri preach the gospel of the king kuhubiri injili ya ufalme you'll hear another word nasikia neno lingine it's a second unfolding of the dimension who ni ufunuo wa eneo la tatu it says proclaim ni kutangaza preach kuhubiri proclaim kutangaza i want you to repeat it preach nataka urudie proclaim kuhubiri kutangaza the dimensions are opened by god preach kwa hivyo maeneo haya mawili yamefunguliwa na Mungu kuhubiri na kutangaza There's many preachers here. Kuna wahubiri wengi leo. Servants of God. Ambao ni watumishi wa Mungu. Like the one that they celebrated yesterday. Kama wale ambao kama yule ambaye alisherehekewa jana. He preached faithfully for 70 years. Yeye amehubiri miaka sabini kwa uaminifu. He proclaimed that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeye alihubiri Yesu Kristo ni Bwana. But there's many pastors in the same position lakini kuna wachungaji wengine katika nafasi hiyo they fully operate in the first dimension second dimension ambao walifanya katika eneo la kwanza na la pili but right now this is not negative lakini hii haitoshi they have to usher into the third dimension lazima wakaweze kuinguliwa kiwango kingine cha tatu to stand the test of time ili tukaweze kushikilia wakati kingdom seekers kingdom seekers do you align with me mkikubaliana na mimi are you ready to usher in ko tayari kuweza kukaribisha so listen what's the full context of the script hii ndio ukamilifu wa andiko hili the third one pops up ya tatu inafunguka it was not wait in a in a synagogue 
ye haiko imechelewa pale sinagogi but one who secured it lakini kuna mmoja aliyehifadhi he stepped up now ye alingeweza kusimama leo so the third one is kwa hivyo ya tatu ni hii the third one is eneo la tatu ni hili and i will provide nami nitapeana for those kwa wale who grieve in zion ambao wanaomboleza zaini hallelujah 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 third dimension ya tatu preach Uhubiri proclaim atangaza but you desperately in need now lakini ulie na hitaji for a touch of provision kwa sababu ya utwalaji i thank god that you didn't give up na shukuru mungu haukakata tamaa because we now in a season kwa sababu sasa tuko majira that he's going to provide ambapo anaenda kupeana miraculously and supernaturally kwa miujiza na hali isiyo ya kawaida so i want you to stand for a moment kwa hivyo nataka usimame kwa muda tu just for a few minutes pamoja na mimi kwa dakika chache because i'm going to kwa sababu ninaenda kuachilia hii huo upeanaji so i'm going to open up seven layers of truth ili nikaweze kufungua maeneo saba ya ukweli now i submit to the man of god ambao uh, kwa mtumishi wa mungu but he released me to stand here so i'm standing under authority kwamba ameniruhusu nikasimama hapa chini ya mamlaka if i open the provision layers kwamba nikiachilia mifereji mi ya ukianaji that's me na ukihisi ndani yako ni wewe you grab it wewe shika kwa imani shika shikilia kwa imani you take it by force ya kuwa kwa nguvu chukua kwa nguvu nobody's gonna leave this place na hakuna atakaye toka mahali hapa this whole kenya hapa kenya will realize today utaweza kutambua leo the broadcast channels ya kwamba katika ma- matangazo yote that provision is coming to zion kwamba upeanaji unakuja zion provision is coming to zion upeanaji unakuja zion provision is coming to zion upeanaji unakuja zion i mean you can be as tired as you want to be unaweza kuwa umechoka jinsi vile unavyotaka you can be as down as level hauwezi kuwa tu ume, umepumba vuzi but there's a voice in your soul. Lakini kuna sauti katika hali yako. Ambaye unasema ya kwamba umeomboleza Zayuni. It's not time now to give up. Lakini si wakati wa kukata tamaa. It's not time now to check out. Sio wakati wa wakati wa provision is coming. Sio wakati wa kuzirai lakini ni wakati wa kuinuka. 2 minutes. 1 Kwa dakika mbili moja inasema. Zayun. Zayuni. You're in morning. Umekuwa ukiomboleza. I'm ready. Na 1 moja to give you a crown tapewa taji of beauty ya u, urembo utapewa taji ya urembo he didn't he didn't share it in the synagogue but he allow he allow us in this place to have the full inheritance unfold i'll give you a crown of beauty pale sinagogi akatangaza ya kwamba itafuondolea maombolezi itakupatia mafuta i give you all of gladness itakupatia mafuta ya furaha i give you a garment of praise itakupatia vazi la sifa i take away the spirit of despair itaondoa roho ya kukata tamaa i take away the spirit of despair ninatoa roho ya kukata you tamaa you are in present now wewe unakuwa katika hali ya kugandamizwa but your inheritance doesn't allow you lakini urithi wako hauruhusu to be captured wakati wa, wakati huu hauruhusiwi so secondly kwa hivyo ya pili they will call you second provision utwalaji wa pili they will call you watakuita wewe sorry for pointing the finger but the holy spirit says i have called you lakini roho wa Mungu anasema nimekuita and you shall be called na utaitwa oaks of righteousness miti ya haki you will be planted utapandwa you will be planted utapandwa and you will display as an oak of righteousness na utakuwa kama mtu wa haki you will display splendor to this world utadhihirisha utukufu kwa ulimwengu thirdly ya ta- ya nne i want you to listen na unaposikiza you will rebuild the ancient ruins utaweza kujenga maeneo yaliyoukiwa you will restore the places that's long been devastated utarejesha maeneo yaliyosahaulika and you will renew the ruined cities na wewe utarejesha maeneo yaliyobomoka cities that have been 
Deep generated and devastated for generations. Mambo ambaye alikuwa yamehosahaulika na yameachwa kwa kizazi. Kwa sababu ninyi ni kifalme. To rebuild the ancient ruins. Ili mkaweze kujenga miji iliyo bomoka. Ama you respect? They will actually in from all over the world to this continent. Na utaweza kufikia ulimwengu wote kupitia kwa bara hili. I couldn't even go to the kingdom city. Hata singeenda kule kingdom city. I got a paper in my office I will release it immediately if somebody doubt it. Ah, na alikuwa anatamani kwenda Kingdom City lakini hakuweza na kwa sababu ya shaka ya mtu. So four years ago the president of South Africa says. Miaka kama ine ambayo imepita rais wa Afrika Kusini alisema. During Isona. Wakati wa kuapishwa ku, kwake. It's the state of the nation. Mm-hmm. Proclamation. Ni so, wakati wa kutangaza kwa taifa. He said. Akasema. I have a dream. Ninayo ndoto. That smart cities will arise over this country. Kwamba miji ambayo ni maridadi itainuka katika nchi hii. You know what happened? Unajua ni nini kilitendeka? That nation mocked him and said it's not a dream it's a nightmare. Hilo taifa likamudhi haki likasema hii si ndoto. He ni mambo yako mwenyewe. And the Lord arrested me and said, do some research on the smart city. Naye, roho wa Bwana akaninenea, akaniambia, hebu ukafanye utafiti kuhusu mji huu ambao ni maridadi. And I, I, I got to different chapters and angles and said a smart city is a digital city, a smart city is a green city and all those things. Kwa hivyo nikafanya utafiti wa miji hii ambayo anazungumzia. And my final remark on that research katika mwisho wa utafiti wangu nilimalizia kwa kusema hivi It sounds good inasemekana vyema but it's not a digital city that the world need lakini sio miji ya kidijitali ambayo dunia inahitaji We use it We use it it's as part of progressive and I wrote in my last remark on the street what the world needs now is a display and radiance of kingdom cities. Kwa hivyo baada ya utafiti huo wote vile rais alivyokuwa ametangaza nikakuja kutamatisha kwa kusema hivi kile ambacho ulimwengu unahitaji ni miji ambayo ni ya kifalme kingdom cities. A pastor spent six months on Mount Zion and he got back and he said, God talked to me about the cities. Kuna mchungaji alikuja pale mlimani Mount Zion akasema kwamba Mungu amemzungumzia kuhusu hii miji. And he said the model he found in Revelation 4. Na akasema kwamba unaweza ukapata hiyo katika ufunuo wa Yohana mlango wa 4. I apologize that you stand. I'm going to finish up. Na muniwie radi kwamba mmesimama lakini nazaenda kusimamaliza. Tunaenda tu kumaliza. So he saw the lion. Kwa hivyo akaona ile shamba. He saw an ox. Oh, aliona simba, akaona ngombe. He saw a man. Na akaona mwanadamu. And he saw an eagle. Na akaona pia tai. And he defined the four living creatures as the four sectors of society. Na akaona viumbe hivyo vi, vi, wanyama hao wanne ni kama jamii aina ile. No time to explain it. Sina muda wa kuelezea. I tested yesterday when we drove off what is the dimensions of a kingdom city. Na niliweza kudhibitisha hiyo tulipoenda kule kingdom city. The pastor Lab later sound base with you and all four living creatures featured in that project that's running now. Ah alipata ufunuo wakati alikuwa anaenda kutembea akaona wanyama hawa nne wakidhihirishwa katika kingdom city socio economic lion kwa hivyo kuna administration organization ox food chain eagle education upliftment social upliftment spiritual upliftment all four bell maeneo haya ya manne ambayo yanawakilishwa na wanyame hao wanne and they said to the throne of father na, ka, na katika ki, ki, katika kiti cha enzi cha baba whether we eat or drink 
Whatever we do, or we build kingdom cities, kingdom city, the world will know there's only one kingdom that brings glory to the Son of Man. Okay. Foreigners, the fourth one, the yeah, one. foreigners will come and they will shepherd your flocks. And you will be called the provision. You will be called priests. Priests. So in this season we are ushering in. Every one year is going to be called priest. Royal priest. Living stones. Everyone will be called priest. And the last two, three, you will feed on the wealth of nations. You will feed on the wealth of nations. Come on, people, come on. Come on. And you will receive a double portion. And the last one, provision has come. Provision has come. And you will break out in dance. And you will, re and you will rejoice in your inheritance. Because provision is coming to your house. I thank God. Allow me just to participate with you. When we ensemble with the music. Katika as as sauti za uimbaji. But I want you to as we line up. Ninataka tu tunapo ruka ruka na kuimba na kusifu. Because I have to leave. Kwa sababu ni taondoka. But I will send something. Baki ni ni ta imba kitu. That's the provision that's coming to the church. Kwa sababu kuna upeanaji ambao na kujia kwenye nyumba. So pastor. Mahivo chungaji. It's coming to Nukuru. Upeanaji una kujia kuako. I pray God that I will dance like David. When the ark is coming back to Zion. And why Jezebel despise my joy? He will be struck down. When we will dance. Where's the worship leader? Praise and worship. Where's the worship leader? Worship leader, aji hapa na kutuongoza. Kwa sifa na densi. Kukamcheze buana kwa furaha. Maana yezebeli, yezebeli anangushwa. Yezebeli ananguka. Yezebeli ananguka. Unapo msifu buana. Fete. Fete. If this was a Zinnakak and he can step up physically now, he would say, Go and preach. Don't worry. Provision will follow you. Apostle. I declare. How many viewers do you have right now? Je, ni watu wangapi wanao kutazama? In total, how many people are linked up? Thousands. Many thousands. Ni watu maelfu. We don't have to number it. Because David also want to figure out what's the number. But if I look at Joel, it says the voice of God rumble ahead of his army. Ah, katika yoel, inasema kwamba sauti ya buwana itatena mele ya jeshi. And he said the forces behind him, you cannot number. Ya kwamba majeshi ya liyo nyuma yako hautaweza kuya hesabu.
the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound, sound of victory. I hear the sound. The voice of victory. Somebody celebrate! Celebrate Jesus! sound of divine provision in the mighty name of Jesus have your way my father 
in the name of Jesus, uh, restore your church uh, into a place uh, of dominion. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Just lift your hand for a minute and tell the Lord, I receive what you are doing in this season. I am a partaker. I am not a spectator. All that you are doing in this season, I receive it by faith. I receive provision. I receive divine positioning. In the name of Jesus, I receive the graces of this season upon my life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. What a wonderful service. A different service. Praise the name of the living God. But we receive the word of the Lord. We receive all the graces available for us in this season. And we declare we are partakers, no spectators in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to request you to sit down for a while. I don't know how to end this service, but allow me to take a few minutes to bring this service to an end. And this is how we are going to go about it. A lot of people have brought their offering, and so I want to finish with the offering session. I'm going to make the final prayers because we are also coming to the climax of our April and Word Festival. But before I make those prayers, I'll request us to give as part of worship as we honor God with our substance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that our giving today will be acceptable and will bring honor and glory to your name as we continue to advance your kingdom in our generation. Bless all financiers in the kingdom. Bless all the faithful tithers in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless those who have covenanted with you in their finances. Bless those who are strengthening their financial altars even through their giving. Let your name be glorified because you are raising us as kingdom of priests. May you accept our sacrifices. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Get your offering. Ashes are everywhere in the overflows uh, assisting us. But you can also get your phone and you can give through the pay bill numbers provided on the screen. We have our pay bill number 807101. 807100. Then we have our pay bill number. We have our MPESA number 0717. Nine double four triple four zero seven eleven one twelve one twelve zero seven zero six twenty six twenty six twenty six. These numbers can assist many people who are in different nations, especially those who are in diaspora. It is only in the USA we have managed to open an account, and we have mobile numbers that can help us. We have a mobile number that people can give through Cash App and Zere. So those who are in the USA can be able to give through that number, through Kasha Pozere. The less in the diaspora, they can use the MPS and numbers, and we continue to appreciate your giving, your support towards the work of God. Those who are in Heaven's Gate, those who are in the overflows, on TV, on um, social media platforms, thank you for your support. We also have the World Revival Center pay bill number. There are people who are pursuing that vision to make it a reality. Double four, double four, Triple seven. We continue to trust God for this vision in Jesus' name. And we have an MPS number for World Revival Center 0722 You can also be able to use that number in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Buona sifuwe sana. 
as we give, I want to um, pray with us. Because we said after the end of this prayer festival, we continue with this month of April as a month of prayer. Sijui kama tumeelewana hivyo. Tutaendea na maombi. Tutakuwa tunaombea nini? Ningependa nikupatie mwelekeo kidogo kwa sababu hao maombi tunapoendelea kutoa. Mungu wabariki. Mahitaji ya huduma hii ni mengi lakini tumeona Mungu akitusaidia kupitia watu ambao wamechukua mzigo wa kutoa fungu zao za kumi those who have been partnering with us i want to appreciate all the partners in the name of jesus may god bless you and may god continue to enlarge your boundaries in jesus name unapotoa unaezesha kazi ya mungu kuendelea kila hatua ah uh, tutakapokuwa tunaomba wiki hii Ningependa niseme hivi kwa dakika chache tu kwa sababu hii ni ya muhimu sana kwa katika moyo wangu na katika kazi ambayo Mungu anaendelea kufanya katika nyumba hii na wale wote ambao wamejiunganisha pamoja nasi naamini kwa moyo wangu wote ya kwamba God is giving us new territories and he is giving us dominion lakini wiki hii tumeongea sana juu ya recovering the lost territories na katika recovering the lost territories nikaweza kuuzia sana roho ya backsliding. Na ningependa niwaambie wapendwa. Sijui ni wangapi wameokoka inua mkono wako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Naona karibu nyinyi wote. Lakini ningependa nataka nikwambia kwamba hakuna spirit ambayo ni stubborn kama spirit ya backsliding The spirit of backsliding is so stubborn ya kwamba unaweza kumaliza kufunga na baada ya kumaliza kufunga iko hapo inakuambia majaribu ndio haya Unaweza toka from a powerful service hata kama ni wewe ulikuwa mhubiri hii roho haiogopi upako ina seduce mpaka wale wamepakwa Ruk chapter 2 from verse 1 No chapter 4 from verse 1 Inasema Yesu aliongozwa na roho kwenda kufunga Jesus full of the spirit returned from the Jordan and was led by the spirit in the desert And the Bible says where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil he ate nothing during those 40 days and at the end of them and the end of them he was hungry the bible says where for 40 days huh? he was tempted by the devil yesu ako siku 40 za kufunga lakini yesu bado ako pale analeta ma temptations this spirit is so stubborn how can somebody be in a mountain fasting for 40 days na hii roho bado inakwambia kuja tufanye dhambi kuja tumuasi mungu Huh? The spirit of backsliding is a stubborn spirit ambayo kila mmoja wetu mimi nikiwa mhubiri nisifike mahali nikafikiria nimefika Praise the name of the living God Hakuna mmoja wetu anafaa kufikiria amefika The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1 Ya kwamba there are things that are written for a warning as a warning for us na ukisoma hayo maandiko inasema ya kwamba yule amesimama ajiangalie sana wakati unafikiria umesimama wakati hiyo ndio unafaa kujiangalia sana the bible says for i do not want you to be ignorant of the fact brothers that our forefathers were all under the cloud and that they all passed through the sea they saw the wonders of god verse two, the bible says very quickly they were all baptized into moses in the crowd and in the sea representing water baptism and also representing spiritual baptism they all ate the same spiritual food uh, and drank from the same spiritual same spiritual drink for they drank from the same spiritual rock that accompanied them and that rock 
was Christ. Yeah? They were drinking from the lock. That was Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, look at this. God was not pleased with most of them. Their bodies were scattered over the desert. Hawa ni akina nani? Ni watu waliobatizwa na maji, ni watu waliobatizwa na roho, ni watu wameona miujiza, ni watu wamekula chakula cha binguni, lakini baadaye Biblia inasema ya kwamba Mungu hakupendezwa na wao. Now these things occur as examples to keep us from setting our hearts on evil things as they did. Ya kwamba hii ni onyo kwetu tusiweke macho yetu kwa mambo ambayo hayamfurahishi Mungu. The Bible said do not be idolaters. There is more than idol worship. Your phone can be an idol. Your business can be an idol. The Bible said do not be idolaters as some of them were as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in pagan revelry. The Bible says we should not commit sexual immorality as some of them did. Huh? And in one day, 23,000 of them died because of sexual sin. We should not test the Lord as some of them did and were killed by snakes. The testing of the Lord came through their grumbling and do not grumble as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angel. Look at verse 11 and 12 of her. These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the fulfillment of the ages has come. So the Bible says that. So if you think that you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. Ya kwamba kama unafikiria umesimama sana, angalia, verse 13, ambayo tasoma muisha inasema ya kwamba, no temptation has seized you, except from what is common to man. And God is faithful. Wow. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up and alert. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu hata kuachilia majaribu ambayo hauwezi kusimama. Wapendwa, Mungu anatuonya ya kwamba kanisa lile la Musa la Jangwani waliona miujiza, walikunywa katika mwamba, ha? kama vile saa hizi tunakunywa kiroho ambao ni Yesu Kristo waliona miujiza lakini Biblia inasema Mungu hakupendezwa na wengi wao mili yao ilianguka jangwani this is all about backsliding ya kwamba walirudi nyuma roho ya backsliding haina aibu Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4 inasema namna gani Hebrews 6 verse 4 and 5 inasema ya kwamba Hebrews chapter 6 it is impossible for, for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, hmm? who have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come. The Bible says, uh, if they fall away to be brought back to repentance because to their loss, they are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subjecting him to public disgrace. Sio rahisi. Yesu mwenyewe alisema roho chafu ikiondoka inaenda inazunguka baadaye inarudi. Inaangalia ile nyumba ilitoka inasema hiyo nyumba haina mtu. Inatafuta roho zingine saba chafu kuiriko. Ile hali ya mtu inakuwa mbaya kuliko hata wakati haku ameokoka. Wapendwa ni kwa huruma za Mungu ambazo ameachilia majira haya na ndiposa na wazungumzia ya kwamba kwa huruma za Mungu tunaweza kutubu kama vile Mungu aliambia kanisa la Efeso Ephesians chapter 2 hiyo tunaweza kusoma baadaye alikuwa analiambia i know you are hard worker i can i know you cannot tolerate wicked men lakini analiambia look the hater from which you are foreign from praise the name of the living God yani ya ni watu bado wako katika imani lakini ni watu ambao wameanguka and Mungu alikuwa anawaambia go back to your first love your first passion your first zeal your first commitment 
praise the name of the living God. Si Mungu atusaidie na atuhurumie. Jeremiah 30 verse 18 uh, Si Mungu aachilie huruma zake ili aturejeshe katika mahali ambapo tumekuwa na atuzidishie kuingia katika maeneo mapya katika maisha yetu. The Bible says this is what the Lord says uh, I will restore the fortunes of Jacob's tents uh, and have compassion uh, on his dwellings uh, the city will be rebuilt uh, on our ruins uh, and the Paris uh, will stand uh, in its proper place uh. our god is a god of restoration hata uh. kama umeanguka hata kama na tulisema hii kuanguka sio ile ya kurudi misri tulisoma jeremiah chapter 5 uh, and verse 6 uh, kwa wale ambao hawaku wako tukasema ya kwamba Jeremiah alikuwa anawaonya wana wa Israeli come out of your many backslidings uh. therefore a lion from the forest will attack them uh. a wolf from the desert will ravage them a leopard will lie in wait uh, near their towns uh, to tear to pieces uh, anyone who venture out uh, for their rebellion is greater and their backslidings many this many backsliding is not good English, but the, the writer is trying to interpret from Hebrew to English. And some of these words are, the apostle unakuta ya kwamba, they may look like grammatic errors. But the many backslidings are, Jeremiah anajaribu kutuambia kwamba, wakati unmeanza kumfuata mungu, unaweza kupiga hatua hamsini. Umewacha dhambi, umewacha uongo, umewanza kufunga, umepiga hatua nyingi. Lakini unweza rudi nyuma hatua kumi. So these steps, ten steps, they are backslidings. You may not have gone back to Egypt, but they are backslidings in your life. We overcome this stubborn spirit uh, of backsliding uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and we recover our lost territories. Uh. Oh my God, uh, whatever you had lost, uh, I announce the grace of restoration uh, before we go for new territories. Uh. Oh my God, uh, may God give us a spiritual sensitivity that we require. May God give us a discernment that we may require. Discernment is important. Uh. Spiritual sensitivity is important uh, for you to know when you are losing your ground. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may you receive the grace of God uh, as we continue in prayer in the month of April. Continue recovering every lost territory in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may the grace of restoration be your portion uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may you say no to the stubborn spirit uh, of backsliding uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may you declare forward ever and backward never. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you declare I'm moving from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you declare I'm being transformed uh, into his image. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I am becoming like him every day. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, until I attain the full stature of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we refuse the spirit of backsliding uh, in this altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and we declare that them that God has entrusted to us, uh, them that the Father has entrusted to us, uh, none of them will be lost. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, wale wote mungu wa metuaminia. Wale tunaona wakiokoka kwa ibada. Wale tunaona wakiokoka kwa kurusedi. Razima tutangaze ya kwamba hawata rudi nyuma. Bwana sifuwe sana. Hebrew, Philippians 1.6 inatuambia that he who began a good work is able to bring it to completion. How fai kuogopa hii roho. Unafaa kuitangazia neno na mungu. Paul alisema, be, being confident of this very thing, that you has begun a good work in you, will complete it until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who began a good work, praise the name of the living God. Uh, Jesus is at work in my life uh, because he said, I will build my church uh, and I am part of that church. And the gates of hell, the forces of backsliding, shall not prevail against me because he who began a good worker is still at work in my life to complete that work. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 that he is able to save completely. Uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 7 verse 25. Uh, Therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God uh, through him uh, because uh, he always lives to intercede for them. Jesus is interceding for me. And so he is able to save completely them that come to him. Uh, oh my God, uh, I proclaim the word of God uh, that he is able to save me completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, yes, wana uwezo wa kuokoa nusu, akona uwezo wa kuokoa kabisa. 
wale wanao kuja kwake kwa sababu Yesu ako katika ofisi ya intercession bado wanasema wale wameamini damu yangu wale ameamini kazi ya msaraba hao hawatapotea hao watasimama hao watamaliza hao nitawasaidia he he is a high pleaser of our confessioner wakati unakiri Yesu ni bwana wakati unasema nimeokoka Jesus is a high pleaser of our confession bwana asifiwe sana naona mnaniangalia kusema apostle tunataka kwenda nyumbani usilete second service lakini nafanya hivi kwa sababu ninawapenda Bwana asifiwe sana. Na hata mimi sitaki siku moja nifike biguni nikiangalia watu wale nimeingia na wao naona ni watu ishirini. Na vile nilikuwa ninafuatwa kwa mitandao na kanisa kubwa alafu kufika biguni ni watu ishirini wako nyuma yangu. Hawa wengine wote they did not make it. Praise the name of the living God. Nataka tufike biguni pamoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Yesu akasema what will it profit a man hata akipata mali ya dunia hii yote lakini apoteze roho yake. Itatufaidi nini tuwe na manyumba ya gorofa na magari makubwa but will not make it to heaven. I desire that you make it to heaven. Just take a moment and tell God I refuse a stubborn spirit of backsliding over my life. Bibi nasema yule amesimama ajiangalie. Wacha kusema nimesimama naongea na ruga. Wacha kusema ninatumiwa na miujiza. Wapendwa kuna wengine walikuwa wamesimama. Paul akasema ya kwamba Demas ha, ameupenda ulimwengu na amerudi nyuma. Mtu alikuwa anahubiri na Paul lakini aka backslide. Wapendwa hii roho haina aibu. Kama inaweza kutoa watu mikononi mwa mitume wakubwa kama Paul. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ndipo lazima tuwe kama Epaphras kuwalilia wale wametufuata paka wasimame na wadhibitike katika imani. Lazima tuombe the new souls zinazokuja katika ufalme na kuwaombea wasimame. Tusiwache ya kwamba wameokoka hata we jiombe and declare this stubborn spirit of backsliding has no place in my life lazima nione kile Mungu anafanya wapendwa wokovu wetu umekaribia kuliko wakati tulianza kwa nini tuanze kuangalia nyuma kwa nini tuanze kudhoofika kwa nini tushindwe na majaribu in the mighty name of Jesus refuse the stubborn spirit of backsliding recover the territories of prayer recover the territory of holiness Recover the territory of love. Recover the territory of commitment. Recover the territory of giving. In the mighty name of Jesus. Recover the territory of fasting. Recover the territory of reading the word. Recover the territory of meditation. Whatever you have lost, I release the grace of recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, have mercy upon us. In the name of Jesus. And let's do unto us what we have lost. As a church, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, even as individuals, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, oh God, uh, let there be grace uh, to restore the lost territories uh, in our lives, uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, hey, Yaraba, in this mandate, Reka Baganda Masatama, Reka Baganda Rima Handaba, Reka Baganda Rima, Reka Baganda Rima. I recover every territory, reka maganda that I have lost in my walk with God. Oh my God, the territory of intimacy, reka maganda with the Holy Spirit, reka maganda mashanda, reka maganda rima, reka maganda rima, reka maganda rima handa, reka maganda ma, the territory of divine revelation, reka maganda, oh God, restore my passion. Restore my zeal, reka maganda, reka maganda, restore my love for you, the love that was in me when I began my journey, reka maganda mazanda. The first love, reka maganda bashanda ba, hila maganda bashanda baganda, reka maganda, restore my faith, the faith that I had, oh God, reka maganda mashanda. The faith, O oh God, uh, to see the dead coming back to life. Uh, 
the faith, oh God, uh, to see nations coming to Jesus. Uh, the faith, oh God, uh, to do exploits. Uh, Reka maganda bashanda. Reka baganda ribahanda. Shatara maganda. You are able to save completely. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. You are able to finish the good work uh, that you began uh, in our lives. Uh, Reka baganda rabashanda baganda. Reka baganda rimazanda. Baba anaombea wale wamekuwa mawindo na hii roho ya kurudi nyuma. Wengine they are suffering in silence. Wanashindwa kwa nini hii roho inaniandama na mimi nampenda Mungu na mimi ninaomba na kufunga. But this is a stubborn spirit. Yesu alikuwa mlimani siku ya 40 na bado shetani akaenda pale kumjaribu. And so I rebuke you stubborn spirit of backsliding. Come out of this congregation. Come out apakataba. Pesha kabakata. Na achilia mawindo wako. Wale umewafuata. Wale umewaweka katika mashimo. Wale umeweka katika magereza. Hata wale umefunga na vifungo vya uovu. Hao ninawaachilia. Ninafungua magereza. Wengine wanataka kutumiwa na Mungu lakini shetani ameona kile kiko mbele yao amewafanya mawindo ninatangaza they are going to overcome every opposition every resistance in the name of Jesus Kori bashanda basata wengine majaribu yamekuwa mengi kwa sababu shetani ameona mahali unaenda kuingia lakini nakutangazia hautazuiliwa hautakosa kuingia hautakosa kufanyika wapendwa wokovu wetu umekaribia wapendwa ushindi wetu umekaribia hata wale wamedhoofika hata wale wanasikia kama wanaweza kujipatiana kwa dhambi usikubali hii roho wengine mumesumbuliwa na hii roho na majaribu ya kiraina you are on the verge of giving up ikatae iambie nimekukataa resist the devil he will free from you in the name of Jesus, uh, seducing spirit uh, of backsliding, uh, I render you powerless. Hey! Reka Nataka wale wote wanasema Mungu nahitaji msaada wako. Hii roho imekuandama sana. Hii roho imekufuata sana. Nataka mahali ulipo ukaweze kusimama. Nataka ni kuombe na ili Mungu aweze kukupa ushindi katika jina la Yesu. If you can be genuine enough ya kwamba vita vimekuwa vikali kwako. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka baganda riba sata. Wherever you are even in the overflow even if you are not born again Reka maganda na unasema hii roho inanizuilia kuingia kwa wokovu wale wameokoka lakini umerudi Misri wale wameokoka na umefikishwa katikati oh my god na bado unasukuma urudi Misri kabisa tuko hapa siku ya leo kusema hapana reka maganda shatara maganda basata hii ni vita lazima tukubali kupigana na yeye aliyetuokoa ako na uwezo wa kuokoa kabisa wale wanaokuja kwake kupitia Yesu Kristo oh my god inua mikono yako shata rabaganda riba handa reka maganda wengine naweza kukuambia hii vita vikali ni kwa sababu ya kile umebeba shata rabaganda riba handa reka baganda bashanda baganda upinzani mkari shata maganda reka baganda bashanda Reka maganda masata maroho ya kiraina yaliyorushwa kwenu ninayaamuru ya waache sasa reka baganda bashanda reka baganda basata hata maroho ya discouragement reka bakata masata reka bakata masata reka kira galika ya uovu reka baganda wacha roho wa Mungu ainue kiwango katika maisha yako nimekuja nikutangazie utashinda 
utashinda hautaingiwa na uchungu hautaingiwa na unforgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus oh my god hautaingiwa na discouragement hautaingiwa na tamaa za mwili reka baganda bashanda hautafungwa na pornography hautafungwa na masturbation kila uchafu wa shetani nina uondoa pe 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 shaba pe shaba pe kata pe shaka baganda pe ya baganda wengine umeanza kunungunika wengine walinungunika tu wengine ni manunguniko tu yamekuja oh you have started grumbling umesema amecherewa kunibariki umesema amenisahau hiyo grumbling ni mtego mkubwa reka maganda bashanda reka maganda you spirit of grumbling on doka ndani ya nyumba ya bwana shatara baganda basata reka baganda bashanda baganda Reka baganda yule tunaye mtumikia ni mwaminifu. Reka baganda anaitwa kuaminika. Reka baganda ma amekuandika katika viganja vya mkono wake. Reka baganda rabashanda. Reka baganda ondoa grumbling and complaining. Wengine walianza tu kunuunika. Reka baganda riba handa. Wengine mumebebwa na baraka Mungu amewapatia mabiashara na cheo dizo ambazo shetani anatumia baraka ambazo Mungu amekupatia dizo zinatumiwa ukose wakati na Mungu ili umalizwe na tangaza ya kwamba hautamalizwa Inua mikono yako sema Bwana Yesu I rededicate my life to you I affirm my faith in you that I am born again and I resist the devil. I resist every temptation. I destroy every snare. And I pray, Lord, come and finish the good work you began in my life. I have faith that you are able to save me completely because I have come to you, my Father, through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so today, I declare my freedom, my freedom, you stubborn spirit of backsliding, come out of my way, come out of my life, come out of this altar, go now, I am free to serve the Lord, I recover all the territories, I had lost uh, from today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, amen. Receive the grace to recover every lost territory. We will continue pressing on in the month of April as we recover the old territories that we have lost, and as we press on to recover new territories in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you. I declare you are going to make it to heaven. Not by might, not by power, but by His Spirit, says the Lord. Receive your healing. Receive your freedom. Every area of your life that was in bondage, I command every chain to be broken. I set the captives free. I proclaim you a liberty in the name of Jesus. I take away the garment of mourning and I raise the garment of praise upon your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tuko karibu kumaliza ibada hii. I believe we are still live. Kabla sija achiria the online church. Ningependa kumwalika mtumishi wa Mungu because ningependa alike watu wa Eldoret na sehemu zingine wahudhurie kongamano tulilo nalo pale Eldoret. Na kwa hivyo kwa dakika moja kwa furaha ya Bwana tumlete one of our fathers of faith in this nation ambaye pia ni rafiki yangu tembea naye kwa ukaribu naye sio mwingine bali ni bishop dr stanley mishuki wacha kuja hapa kuja hapa karibu sana askofu wow 
Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Unaniona huko praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. I want to thank you uh, Apostle William for the opportunity to stand before the congregation. My name is Bishop Dr. Michuki. I love the Lord. I'm a servant. I'm not a master. I like serving because God called me to serve. I am born again and I come from a polygamist family. My father had 43 wives, but I thank God to have one. Every time one. I knew Apostle about 15 years ago when we used to do uh, God Bless Kenya. And uh, I want to say this word because when God gives a gift, as the Bible says in the book of James 1.17, that every good, good gift and perfect gift comes from above. Apostle is a gift to this nation. I am not scared to say that. He's a gift to this nation. And I want to say this. We need to, to pray for his protection. Every time, every night, every day. I remember 12 years ago, when he invited me in in one of their tents to pray or to preach. I didn't preach. What I did because I love him so much, I just prophesied. I prophesied about his life. And a year ago when we met, everything I prophesied has come to pass. When I pray for him, I open my shirt so that the saliva can enter in my, in my bosom, in my chest. Because the man I love, and I want to tell you, only what is remaining in that prophecy is only a chopper, which is coming very soon. Uh, Those you know me, I'm a defender of faith. I'm a man who defends faith. If you pray with the church, you joke with me, I'm there in the TV, I'm all over. I defend faith. But one thing I have to say today is that we are honoring heroes and heroines of faith. A year ago, I was so troubled when I realized we honor people who are not even uh, in, our, in, our, in our jurisdiction, rather in our, in our ministry. Uh, we honor even the, those who are dead. Uh, 1939, who, who know First World War, to 1945, I see the, the heroes were honored even when in the grave. 1939 to 1949, is still there was Second World War. And they still honor those people in the grave. Mau Mau have been honored. Even on the street, you can see some statues on the street. But when it comes to saints, nobody care about us. So I said, why don't we honor the heroes and the heroines of faith so that our children can be encouraged. And the Lord has really made it come to pass. When I pass this message, to the senior spiritual fathers, whereby I'm a member of those senior spiritual fathers, we all agreed, and they said, for 70 years, no one has really appreciated the heroes of faith. Who have transformed this nation? Who have kept this nation the way it is? And I said, let me see what I can do. I approached, I approached some of the institutions, and they, they agreed, I said, it's true, actually, we have never appreciated neither honor the heroes of faith. We have been honoring fathers. Fathers are okay, but they are heroes who have transformed their lives, have touched your life. When you are a young person, has really uh, upsetted your wedding, has prayed for you. These people have been preaching 70 years, 64 years. Gitonga has, has preached for 70, 64 years. Jimmy Singh has preached for 64, 62 years. People like uh, Bishop Mulandi, who are the general of, uh, of gorillas, of Jesus. They are there. Nobody has told them thank you. And I came to this, 
a vision and a program. And I want to tell you this. When I approached Apostle, and the Lord bless you, Apostle, he, he said, this is really from God, and I'm going to support this one to the last minute. So Apostle gave us the, the mega tent, and he gave us all the seats, 4,000 seats, and he said, and you'll be one of the speakers, you'll be the main speaker in that meeting on 11, 12, and 13. The people we are honoring are known to you, so we are coming from known to unknown. We are honoring Wilson Mamboleo, 70 years of service. We are honoring Archbishop Dr. Kitonga, 64 years. We are honoring Bishop Dr. William Tumsing, 62 years. We are honoring uh, 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 Washington uh, Gende from Central Nyanza, who has served God for 69 years. We have also another category of transformative, people who have transformed lives despite of their age. So we have somebody like uh, Jude Bogwa. We have Mama Moi Grace. And we have Ellie Lop, who brought the first radio for the Christian radio. And we have people like, uh, like uh, uh, Honorable Bokoske, who has been the community and uh, also representing PWD. We have people like Honorable Isaac Amaura, who have been standing with uh, Arubino all those years. And many others are going to be ordained, to be, to be, to be honored. I am surprised the preacher when the preacher was giving the, the award to our son, I was shocked. Because it's coinciding on what you're going to do in the editorial. So, so, I would like to appeal to you because I don't know whether this is going to be allowed by Apostle. Because I thought... If uh, well wishers, people who would like to, uh, to, to, to support this vision, because what, uh, um, what is happening is that even St. Paul University has agreed. When I talked to the vice chancellor at the St. Paul University, and he told me they have the, the, all the profiles for all those people, but they are kept in the archive. So they told me, Bishop, thank you very much for bringing these people from archive to the reality. Do you know what they said? They said they are going to give them certificates of appreciation. And uh, they will be there also. We have been also been partnering with uh, other partners, but more importantly, uh, our brother, our, our apostle has done great, and we want you also to support uh, this vision because the meeting is coming on 11, 12, and 13. Her Excellency, uh, Pastor Dr. Dorcas, we also be a nominee. We shall give her also a, a award. She has touched the boy child. And so, allow me to say this, uh, to, to, to just to read a word very quickly. Uh, in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, 26, if you can give me this one. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 26. Oh, is it? Is it anywhere? Uh, yes, the Bible says, I will make them at the place all around my hill a blessing. And I will cause showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessings. This is what God is saying. This place will be surrounded by a lot of blessings that you not really realize, neither count those blessings. 
And so I want to say this. Because our apostle is a good gift from the Lord, can we also pray? And before I pray, let me give you the, the, the pay bill number if you can really support this one. If you allow me, apostle. Pay bill number is 413-2095. 413-2095. It is the pay bill for the heroes and heroines of faith. So the, 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 the account is the heroes of faith. Uh, allow me now to just pray, as you had said, that I want to speak a blessing also. As a father, the Bible says, when you are blessed by your father, Abraham's, Abraham was is given instruction by God that when you are blessed, you bless them. When they curse you, you curse them. Me, I'm coming to bless you. I'm not coming to curse you. I'm coming to bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, can we stand up? We pray. And uh, I would like you also, I want to invite you to Eldoret. We are going there with the St. Paul University. We are going That changed many lives. Many lives have been transformed through this altar. How I pray that the Father, you keep this altar safe and protected. My Lord, how you keep your servant Kimani protected. My Lord, as Jerusalem is surrounded by warfare. Lord, may his protection be realized. Wherever he go, Lord, let your angels and the fire of protection be upon your servant and in the ministry that he's called to do. My father, I want to release a blessing upon every son and daughter in this church. My father, it pleases you, Lord, when these people are praising you and worshiping you, Lord. It pleases you, Lord, when you touch their lives, O oh God, and when you forgive their sins, O oh Lord. My father, one thing I pray is that the Lord keep them safe and let them their names remain in the book of life. There is nothing better than that. The Lord, there is no need of us acquiring everything in this world and then we shall miss life. When Jesus was asking the disciples, what is that you have seen when you are preaching, they said, we are casting demons in your name. And Jesus told them, don't be happy that you are casting demons, but be happy that your names are written in the book of life. Father, I pray this one not that God lost. They will be written, my Father, in the book of life. They are in the book of life, my Father, that if no one will get lost. Father, we thank you. Even for the meeting, my Father is coming on 11 and 12 and 13. Father, we pray that your presence will be found there. Thank you, Jehovah God, because of these heroes, they will not die before they are realized. We pray for them, my Lord. We pray for every nominee, my Father, in the name of the Lord. May you keep them safe, Father. May you give the good health, my Father, in the name of Jesus. My Father, we thank you as we pray for this nation and pray, Father, for the doctors to realize that, my Father, they were, they were given an oath even to serve the people of Kenya. We pray for the doctors. We pray for nurses of God. Touch them, Father. We pray for the government, my Father, to realize that the men and women are dying, children are dying. Father, we pray that they come to a conclusion of this strike. Father, we thank you. May you release your people and pray, Father, your grace. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. 
May he keep you. May he protect you. May he bless the work of your hands. May he bless your homes. May he bless your businesses. May he bless your ministry. May you never lack. Father, we thank you. And I bless you for this we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. We can take our seats for a moment, please. Thank you. I know our time is far much gone. Thank you so much, Bishop, and also Bishop Marema for coming to be with us all the way from Eldoret. Uh, we have taken the pay bill number. It's 413-2095. As much as we are participating in that meeting as a ministry, you can also, you know, we are walking in the labors of our fathers. I told Bishop Mishchuki when he came to me and I told him, it's good to give our fathers an opportunity as we honor them. We know they are bishops and fathers who have labored. The other day, we buried a very senior bishop called Bishop Karanja. We buried Apostle Joe Kyle. And I tried to think if this man of God had a platform just to appreciate them and also for them to bless the nation. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I found it's a very, very wonderful opportunity to appreciate them so that they can also bless the land because they call a blessing because of the sacrifices they have made in the land. So we are doing this, we are supporting this as a ministry, but if you want also to give in cash, you can, after we finish, you can bring your offering at the altar, but you can also use the pay bill number for 413 2095. So, God bless you. I know uh, our program coming week is tight because we also have the Mount Kenya uh, Legion meetings, and we also be having that meeting. And uh, our team um, has been on the ground to survey, and I believe they, they will also be there to set up the tent. I said, if some meeting of fathers. I am because they are. Praise the name of the living God. I am walking in their labors. Some of them, it's not because I'm more anointed than them. It is because they broke the furrow ground. We are able to do what we are doing today in this nation. So I want to release the church without walls. God bless you. Thank you for being with us all this time. Shalom. The Lord be with you. May you enjoy the rest of the month of April as we continue to possess every territory that we had lost, even as we regain new territories in Jesus' name. Uh, as we come to the end of the service,